Just a couple of redneck amigos full of BS reviewing bourbon, tequila, rum, beer, and more. Boozy Spirits. Hey guys, welcome to Back to Boozy Spirits. What's going on, Matt? Not much. How's Doing it going? Right? Doing good. We got a special guest here, Case, from Cathead Distillery. What's going correct? on, guys? Thanks for having me. Yes, yes. sir. We got yeah. all kind of lineup out here for us. Excited. Look at all this. A little, yeah. bit, a little bit of everything. If I doesn't turn you on right there, I mean, that is just <laughs> sexy. It is. It is. I, I make friends very easily if you... If you <laughs> yeah, if you show up at my house with that, I mean, like, we're friend. buds. <laughs> buds to go for sure. Yeah, I mean, we got everything you need, too. That's you impressive. know, we cover all the spirits angles, um, which is awesome. One thing great about us, so... Very cool, very cool. Tell stuff. us a little bit about Cathead. Where Where is it at? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you see in front of you, yeah, we're, we're out of Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. Um, you know, and, and a lot of people uh, just don't know about us, but you'll see on the back, like, we're all across America. Um, you know, we're in over half the states in the country, which is really cool. Awesome. Um, and it's definitely off the back of uh, our honeysuckle vodka. You know, that's what most people, when they say mm-hmm. cathead, they, yeah. that's what they go to. That's what they know. Um, but they don't realize that, you know, we've got a couple more great flavors um, out We've got an amazing award-winning gin, and obviously that you see in front of you, we've got an insanely good bourbon line. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and then our chicory liqueur as well. That I know Which you know very fantastic. well. Fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it's great you stuff. You tried that one, Matt? I think you made a drink. I made yeah. a drink. Yeah. You need to try it. Yeah. By itself, though. It's okay. neat. It's really good. Yeah, hey, you'll be putting it on your ice cream later t- tonight. I know you will. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, no, we were founded by uh, Austin Evans and Richard Patrick. Um, just two blues loving guys and that's why you see on every vodka bottle we put support live music um, awesome. which being in this place I mean you gotta love yeah you we know, love this, that. <laughs> this, place, this place is amazing so um, so we're right up y'all's alley yeah I mean we try and partner with you know awesome good live music bars uh, throughout the country we try and do some amphitheater stuff you know wherever we cool. can fit in we're just super live music um, eccentric and, and that's what we look for to uh to go for that's so um it's cool. awesome. right up your alley yeah it is yeah and I mean, that's are, up most people's alley though yeah, yeah i mean it really yeah. is yeah everybody loves live Who music doesn't? yeah they do and especially with the covid year we it, you a lot of people i think lost that and they didn't get to enjoy it and then yeah, when I it mean, came back they're like oh my god i really yeah. do love this missed it um so i think it's kind of came on even stronger but it's also good when it's good spirits yeah. you know um i tell everyone you know the first thing they see when they look at this sales pamphlet is you know we were nominated for a james beard award in 2020 i mean that's one of the highest honors you can get in this in this industry uh and a lot of people don't realize i mean that was the same year willet was a nomination Uh, i think gerga chills winery was a nominated i mean we were in the company with all those people um and so i i really do look at us as one of the top spirit producers in the country you know, Absolutely. and still being privately owned is yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, like I said, Richard and Austin, such great guys, and their mm-hmm. uh, uh, friendship really forged here. So they're actually University of Alabama alumni, um, which cool. you know they love. I know uh, Richard still has a place here, and you know goes to all the football games, and um, yeah, they they do come back a lot. And so uh, so yeah, being Alabama alumni owned, and uh, and being so close to the distillery, yeah. you know, where you're less than three hours away, about two, a little under two and a half hours away from yeah. it. Um, so if you ever go to New Orleans, go <laughs> take the long way, go through Jackson, <laughs> go by and go. see us. We're right off the highway, um, right downtown. So it's it's awesome. Cool. So yeah. how long have y'all been in? business yeah. or when they start uh 2010 so okay. i mean yeah we're going on our 14th year um and i think a lot of people just don't realize that we make all this because we made our name in vodka and the honeysuckle in particular i think that just kind of took over um you know our identity right and so over the years you know we came out with the great gin and then we started doing bourbon and i think people just did not realize what we were putting out and maybe it's because we were in jackson right. you know mm-hmm. But, uh, but you know, yeah, I mean, you'll see today when you taste them just how awesome this stuff is that we've done over the last 14 years. It's phenomenal bourbon. Yeah. I mean, Matt calls me a bourbon snob. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's one of my favorite ones for sure. Well, we all got to be a snob at something, yeah, that's right? right. <laughs> <laughs> I always so. call him. I'm like, look, I got this. And, you know, 80 bucks. He's like. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm like, you want something? I'm good. Well, he's, like, he's like, I found this Jim Bean. 30 bucks is good. I'm like, no. It's, it's yeah. Pure well, shit. And there's a, but that's the thing, too, is like, there's a lot of good stuff out there. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a so lot there of is. good products. I mean, go look in the big uh, ABC store of McFarland. Yeah. I mean, there's Everywhere. so much to pick from. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I hate it when people just go chasing 
yeah, commercial name. names, big mm-hmm. names, and it's like, hey, there's so much good stuff out yeah. there that you just, if you just read a little bit about. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's what people probably get tired of hearing me talk about it, but I talk about it at the restaurant all the time. Like, say you come in, like, case what you want, get Patron. Man, try this, yeah. you know, this so-and-so, this Don Julio or, yeah. you know, this Dos Primos, it's really good. No, nah, I want Patron. Yeah. I was like, Patron sucks, dude. Yeah, you can nah, have that's, that's the best one. I'm like, there you go. Here's Patron. I'm you know, like, <laughs> yeah. not going to argue with you. And you're going to have people like that. Yeah. I mean, it just is what it is, you yeah. know. And, and my first love was tequila. You know, mm-hmm. I lived in Mexico for about eight months. Mm-hmm. And um, that, yeah, I love tequila. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and put it that way. <laughs> uh, it was funny. I tell people when I, when I started coming back to the States, uh, I – it was hard for me to drink anything else because yeah. down there you get one thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, unless you're at a resort, yeah, don't you know, count. Don't count. and you're, they do have like crown and Jim Beam and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. You know, pretty much all the local stuff. I mean, it's, it's tequila or mezcal yeah, that's or, you know, you can leave. I mean, yeah. it, <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe a few beers, but, and, and yeah, you know, you got your couple Mexican beers. Um, yeah. but that's, you know, and, and it's starting to change a little bit down there. Um, you know, they're starting to, Branch and there's like craft breweries in Mexico now, which are great. Um, some of them are really good. I've been That's to a cool. couple of them. And uh, but you know, yeah, tequila and mezcal. It's, what'd, I mean, what'd you do now in Mexico? So well, hanging out, so hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I actually started my own company. Um, yeah, That's I had Costa Maya Imports. You know, mm-hmm. I um, my dream. I was sitting down there one day in a bar and uh, saw this guy tasting tequila, and I was like, "Are you in the states?" <laughs> and he was like, "No, we're not in the states." I was like, "You want to be?" And he was like, yeah. And I was like, man, I could do that, you know? So I came back. I got my federal TTB import license and, you know, and and started that dream. And unfortunately, it was the year before COVID. It was 2019. So, you know, we did two shipments Mm -hmm. and then COVID hit. And you can't grow a brand if you can't go anywhere or sell it. And so... You know, I could uh, I could go all day about Mexico stories in Mexico. I'll, I'll have to come back. We'll come back yeah. I'll have to come back another time um, and tell you all about that. Yeah, so. cause me and Giovanni <laughs> just got back from Mexico. Went down to mm-hmm. Jalisco, toured all the tequila distilleries yeah. and stuff. Yeah, had a good time. No, it's it's so much fun. And if you can speak enough Spanish to get around, it's mm-hmm. so fun. Yeah. Um, and it's not scary. I mean, yeah. you can get yourself yeah, into it. Scary. Yeah, you yeah. can get yourself into it if you want to. But um, but it depends it's just, on where you go. It's so great. Food, culture, it's awesome. Everything. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. So, well, well, you want to start us out with? Yeah, yeah. So Matt said that he never has had the honeysuckle, which yeah, I, right. I tell people. Obviously, it's you know kind of what we made our name for. Mm-hmm. But um, and so I rarely get to taste it anymore. Yeah. Anymore. So there you go. Uh, and so yeah, it'll be perfect to grab it. Get us some of our fancy little solo cups here. <laughs> now you're in, in for a treat on this one, Matt. Some good stuff. I'm excited. Yeah, and I mean, being from the South, like, yeah. I mean, honeysuckles are just, you know, unfortunately becoming not a thing of the past because you can still find them, but not like they not, used to yeah, be, yeah. you know. Go to Grandma's house Thank and you. see honeysuckle yeah. out there. I know where uh, where I live. I'm, I'm originally from South oh, yeah. Georgia, and uh, and they used Get to be uh, – they used to be all everywhere, you know, even like in the ditches in the yeah. road, you yeah. know, you just be all right now. Place. And they started spraying the ditch, you know, and they started spraying the road, they sprayed the ditches, and those honeysuckles are just gone, yeah. you know. Um, I can still find them on my land, but. Man. That's good, isn't it? That is good. Right? I, I have, you know, it's funny, I'll, I'll see people in the in the store buying it, and I'm just curious, I'm always curious, I'm like, you know, what do you do with it? Because yeah. I want to know, especially yeah. if I don't have a shirt on, you yeah. know, they don't know I work for them. Um, and uh, it's funny, because a lot of times I'll get the look where, They'll like do like this, <laughs> and then they're like they'll like lean in. I'm like, I actually just poured over ice and drink it, and I'm like, <laughs> That's you fine. know, yeah. hey, I mean, it is that good. It you know, is it's that smooth. It's got that little honeysuckle sweetness on the mm-hmm. back, um, and it's cool. You know, this is the only honeysuckle vodka in America um, as of now, and hopefully, you know, forever. You know, I mean, it's kind of what we've. Like I said, we made our name on, and um, you know we do it right, and mm-hmm. I think that's why it's such a huge hit. Yeah, um, and especially for great people like Justin putting cocktails on the menu yeah, with it. Margaritas, you yeah. know, you just would not think. You know, no one thinks margarita with anything but tequila, and I get it, right? I mean, I you know being a traditionalist, I get it. I want tequila, but it's so good in a margarita. Yeah. Um, you know, and I do mine jalapeno infused and just because I love spicy that stuff good and yeah. it is fantastic. Good so, idea. What you, what yeah. you think, Matt? Oh, it's awesome. I'll yeah. Put you on the spot, make you review it. What you think? Oh, I would do two <laughs> thumbs up. Yeah. Two thumbs I mean, up. It is. It's <laughs> that good. To drink it straight and to be that smooth yeah. and just, yeah, it's great taste. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I ever had it chilled. It's, 
It's really good. It's even better. Well, I, I keep it slightly chill. There's and there's a way to not make friends pulling out all this stuff, and yeah. it's having hot vodka in your yeah, back yeah. and pulling it out. <laughs> no matter how good it is, you yeah. know, I don't care if it's the best in the world. It's, you don't want it hot. So, yeah. um, and being down here in Alabama, it can easily, easily get hot if you leave it in the car too long. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> what do you think? Right. I'll give it two thumbs up. I carry it. Carried it I carry it all four locations. So it's awesome. Been a big fan of it. It's really good. Yeah, he's been a huge fan, which is just great. It's good. Um, like I said, just by itself. Yeah, that's the way I would drink that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I like I said, I have a ton of people that do that, and you know, honeysuckle is one of those things that goes with almost any other flavor out there. I mean, you can, yeah. you know, yeah. when, you, when you're it's thinking not of bearing, yeah. yeah, when you're thinking of cocktails, you know, I mean, any f- flavor to play off it, it, pr- it probably goes with it. Yeah. You know, if you just try it. Um, I'll give a shout out to Jose over in at Adios. Mm-hmm. Um, have you been there yet? Yeah, I've been there a couple times. It's awesome, oh, awesome yeah. place. Cool um, Jose's great, the proprietor. Mm-hmm. Fantastic guy, one of the best mixologists out there. And their fall, I guess fall to winter pumpkin cocktail mm-hmm. is made with the honeysuckle. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool and he told it. me he was going to do it. And I was like, are you sure you're going to do that? <laughs> yeah, and he was like, it's going to be great. Yeah. And I was like, I Go mean, I know it, it will. If, yeah. you're, if you're telling me, it's going to be great. And uh, it's probably one of the best sellers on there. I mean, it really? just I'll go up there and I'll just see everyone's got one. Awesome. Just like, oh, man, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. That makes you happy. Yeah. yeah. No, it does. It does. So I have to use this one at the sanctuary, Matt. Yeah, definitely. I could definitely come up with something. <laughs> um, I'll but help, yeah, I'll help you come up with something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Once it's drink making time, you're you're definitely I'm gonna lean on you. I think I can find a bottle a bottle laying around for you to play around <laughs> play some with. cocktails with. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. What do you think about awesome. a case since you hadn't really had it in a while? <clears throat> So I, said you rarely get it, the, every time it takes me back, you know, when I first got hired on, it was one of the things that I hadn't had mm-hmm. from us. And so I was like, we were sitting there and we were talking and I was like, okay, I was like, we got to pull the bottles out. I was like, I have to try this honeysuckle and, uh, and tried it. It took me back to my childhood. And, you know, I mean, <laughs> really seriously, that smell and everything. you know, yeah. Just how authentic it is, too. I mean, it, it took me right back. And, um, and you know, I've had fun playing around with it, too. And, and I've had my fair share of it as well over the last <laughs> over the last 18 months. So um, being with Cathead, so, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can tell the quality in a drink. I mean, you can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Have no, no ethanol, no, like, burn or nothing. No, so no. I mean, it's it, you dangerously know, the smooth. The vodkas are, you know, what our namesake is. Mm-hmm. You know, it's yeah. Cathead. And so, um, you know, all of our products are great, but we really just take pride in making a good quality vodka because, frankly, there's a lot of bad ones out there. <laughs> yeah, and there's so, a, lot of, a lot of competition in the vodka you know, world, too. Yeah, I mean, someone's got to lead the pack. Yeah. And, you know, and you, you see our other two flavors that we have going on over here, the Satsuma Mandarin. <clears throat> and the uh, raspberry, mm-hmm. you know, I get asked all the time, well, you know, when are you going to come out with this flavor? When are you going to come out with this flavor? And it's like, that's not really what we're going for. You know, I mean, yeah. we don't want to be a flavored vodka company. Obviously, with this bourbon line, we're not just a flavored vodka right, right. company. Um, and so we, you know, we the guys really take a lot of time in coming out, like, what is going to be our next flavor? Yeah. What not coming our out next, with just, like, popcorn flavor. Yeah, like, what our whatever. next product is going to be. You yeah. know, we just don't we just don't push products out just to push products mm-hmm. out, yeah. um, which is another thing I love because, you know, I, I want to sell good stuff. <laughs> and so, um, so, yeah, so you'll see the... Uh, the the Satsuma Mandarin. So this label, we actually just made a label change. It says bitter orange. That's what I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. So we we make it with Satsuma Mandarins, right? Okay. And so that's what you know. We think just the consumer standpoint. Um, you know, the way it looks on the bottle, it it will look more in line saying yeah, yeah. Satsuma Mandarin. I got you. Um, and you'll tell right off the nose mm-hmm. of it. And have you ever tried it, Justin? Yeah. Did you I ever? Have. You'll tell right off the nose. I mean, it smells like we just squeezed really? a, a fresh Satsuma in there. It's also very good. And, uh, and made it. It makes it another one that makes a good spin on a margarita. Yeah. yeah. It really does. So I'm going to grab it. And just pour, pour it back in that little glass. Yeah. So this one's also mm-hmm. 70 proof. Yeah, we do both. We do our uh, flavors down to 70 proof. Um, which I think just helps take a little bit of that edge off the back end mm. um, away, which is nice. Now you can really, Thank really you. smell the orange. Yeah. I think the chill in it definitely brings out some more flavor to it. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Makes it a little more pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> Need to make a note, go chill mine at home. And I think this is a good one to highlight. Like, it's not sweet at all. No. You know, and and that's another thing that we try to come through with our flavors. Obviously, the honeysuckle is going to have a little yeah. bit of natural sweetness to it, um, like a honeysuckle does. Uh, but I think the other two flavors, you know, we just, you can tell just how authentic that flavoring is going in there that we're not just putting artificial flavoring or mm -hmm. any sweeteners in there to beef yeah, it up, sure. you know? And it's, I mean, it's bitter orange, but it's not nasty bitter. Yeah. It still has a pleasant taste to it. Yeah. No, a lot, and a lot of people yeah. like bitter stuff, Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and some people don't, you know, I'll, I'll be doing a tasting and I'll warn them like, Hey, look, it does say bitter on it yeah. for a reason <laughs> you know it's got a little bite to it um but it's good and and that but that's what you're looking for yeah. in that product like yeah. that mm -hmm. i mean because it is it does taste just like you're biting yeah, into sure. a satsuma yeah, yeah. um and like you said i think the name change with the satsuma orange or mandarin yeah probably open up people more they might see bitter orange but nah, I, don't like, I don't want that yeah yeah, see yeah, that yeah. Like, hey, let's try it out something different yeah, no, I, I think it's going to be good for us, um, and it and it does really well now, but I just think that name change will be, yeah, be really good for us. To, yeah. And the label looks cool, too, on here. Yeah, no, it, it it really does. It really does. I mean, I like I like our packaging on our box because mm -hmm. I think they're, they're, they state what they are, yeah. you know, it's kind of color-coded like that. Um, I think with the raspberry coming out, too, this year, it's going to really pop, like, mm -hmm. on the shelves when they're all next to each oh, other. Yeah. They're all going to look really good together. Yeah, they do. They really do. So you said that one comes out January yeah. in Alabama? Yeah, so moving on to the raspberry. Yeah, the raspberry um, is going to come out January 1st okay, uh, awesome. for this new listing period with ABC, yeah, um, which we're really excited about. I think it's a good time to break into the market with yeah. it. Um, there's actually listed-wise, there's only one other raspberry in the entire state of Alabama. Um, and that's absolute. That's also say absolutely. And so, and you can find a couple different ones, but as far as a full listing through mm -hmm. the ABC, that's yeah. it's going to be that's those it. two, yeah, yeah. and that's it. Um, so definitely doing tastings, getting it out there, and I, I think spring cocktails would be perfect oh, yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, Especially if somebody else had the honeysuckle or something else, and they see raspberry, they're going to instantly buy it because they like the product. Exactly. Yeah. No, I, I think our customers are really going to take to it nicely, mm -hmm. and. Like I said, especially just once they try it one time, you know, that's with a lot of our products. Yeah. Once you just try it one time, that's it. they're like, oh, my God, that's good, yeah. you know. And so I think that's all it's going to take for it. Yeah, this one, I, I actually haven't tried this one yet, Matt, so this will be a new one for me as well. The raspberry? Yeah. Well, I would tell you, not a lot of people have tried it at all. Um, <laughs> you know, especially I just got my sample bottles not too long ago. Especially in Alabama. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's funny. I have had people – come by and they're like uh i'm like when i first got the sample bottles i'm like oh hey i got it now and they're like oh no i went and bought it somewhere else and i was like <laughs> i don't blame you <laughs> will you give the bitter orange to set some I'll give it a thumbs up for sure i like that okay. it's also a good one yeah i mean yeah. you can just tell oh, off the yeah. nose yeah, yeah i mean it instantly pick up the flavor yeah yeah, I kind of like that. And this, this is what I say. I mean, the I would say the, the aromatics on this one is kind of mm -hmm. like the Satsuma. It's kind of yeah. really in mm -hmm. your face, mm -hmm. where the honeysuckle doesn't have as much on the nose. But this has that almost like soft sweetness that the honeysuckle does, but in raspberry form on the palate. Yeah. So it's almost like the best of both of those other two yeah. coming together. It's really good. All in raspberry, you know. So, yeah, yeah I love it. I think it's going to be a hit. I can't think what it reminds me of, but something. I can't place it right now. It'll come to me. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> it's really smooth, good. But you can definitely taste the raspberry. And I mean, it's, but it's a, it's kind of a soft raspberry. Yeah. I think, I think a lot of people just like the honeysuckle or is going to say, oh, I, I just drink this one over ice. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Maybe you could. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe just add just a dash or two of something else in yeah. there, but you, you don't need much, mm -hmm. you know, not when it's, not when the product's this clean. Yeah. And taste this good. You don't need. It reminds to do me too of much. some kind of like candy or something. Can't place what it is though, but like in a good way. Like it's not super sweet or nothing. Like yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I, and like I said, I mean, as authentic as it's made, mm -hmm. I mean, it's gonna taste. Yeah. You know, very fresh and vibrant, like yeah, it yeah. should. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it definitely does. It you can taste every little hint of the raspberry. Yeah, yeah. I give that one two thumbs up. That's a good Same. one. <clears throat> two thumbs up on that for sure. That's a great. Yeah, no, thank you all. It's uh, like I said, I I think it's just going to take off. Oh, it's going to be huge um, for y'all. Yeah. yeah, no, I I really do. So, 
Yeah, but those are the vodkas, y'all. I mean, it's, you know, like I said, I mean, we don't want to be a flavor known as a flavor vodka company, but, you know, we we do have them. And, you know, that is what we started on, I mean, is, is our vodkas. And so that's kind of what we're really <coughs> proud of. Uh, we're proud of it all. But, you know, just embellishing that cat head name on there, that's, you know, that's really what we, uh, you know, take a lot of pride in. So. And all three of those are quality. Well, yeah. I mean, quality yeah. vodkas. Yeah. No, they they really no are. No burn or anything yeah. to it, just smooth. Yeah. And when you talk about price points, too, I mean, they're the same price as, you know, all the big brand, commercial mm-hmm. brands, but, you know, we're made in Jackson, Mississippi, and we're privately owned, family owned and yeah. operated, and, you know, just making good quality spirits, yep. you know, right down the road. So, when yeah. When you go tour that, put it on our list. I agree. Yeah, no, we'll definitely get y'all on the list after the new year yeah. um, turns. I think what we're going to uh, start doing is trying to have some set days where people can, okay, you cool. know, buyers and stuff can mm-hmm. come over and hang cool. out. And I'll set it up and make, awesome. sure, I, make sure. sure I'm there to give yeah, there you, you the, the, the grand <laughs> tour sure. myself. There you, you go. Know? <laughs> no, you'll probably what? see me working the bottling line or something. In the back. <laughs> like, yeah, wasn't that our rep over if, there? <laughs> if I'm there, they're going to put me, they'll probably yeah. put me to work, you know, which I'm totally fine with. Yeah, that's which fine. I'm totally fine with. So how long have you been with them? So, I've uh, I've been with Cathead about a year and a half. So okay. last May is when I started. Nice. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, no. I mean, like I said, it's been nothing but great times ever since I've started. Um, you know, and that's because we do the right thing Every, from top down. I mean, yeah. the, what we do, we do it correct. And, and when you is, work for a family owned company, I mean, it's just it's just so much nicer than yeah, the corporate sure. world. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, I've done both. Yeah. You know, I've done both, and uh, and I, you know, when I was looking. At, at different jobs when I was uh, moving back to the East Coast, I was like, okay, like, you know, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And I was like, okay, Cathead. And I was like, all right, privately on. I was like, good good base, good, you know, they, we've got distribution in a lot of places. I was like, I, it really, I gravitated towards yeah. it because um, that's what I was looking for. And uh, it ended up being a perfect, perfect match. So, there you uh, go. for sure. Yeah. All right. What we got next? All right. So, yeah, we're so, going to. Move to the gin. Some gin. Um, I got a fresh bottle, so let me crack it real quick. Well, it's 94 proof. Yeah, it's a little up there, but it's, uh, I mean, it drinks just very smooth. And, um, you know, it's a London Dry style, but I think it's got a lot of, I guess, characteristics of mm-hmm. more of a new wave. Um, you know, what, one couple things we do, obviously the packaging is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really classic packaging. Oh, yeah. And then one thing that I really love that we do, we actually give you every botanical oh, cool. that we put in here on the back, which I think a lot of people just don't do because I don't know, maybe they're just like, Oh, I don't want someone to steal my recipe or, hey. or some, you know, some crazy, uh, thing that they've got going on in their head. And, you know, I just like how we do it. Cause you can go through and pick out kind of what you're tasting I got you. you know which i think is cool um and it was in forbes magazine yeah no i mean we were in Ford Ma- forbes magazine i think three times in a calendar oh. year which is just amazing <laughs> all kind of awards yeah yeah I, I would say honestly i wouldn't put it past this probably maybe pound for pound our most awarded really? product awesome. out of all of them impressive i hadn't tried this one yet either so it'll be a new one for me you do some barrel aging also? Yeah, no, we do. We do. Um, we actually have a full line of, of barrel aged uh, so gins. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we do a uh, we do a one year, a four year, and a seven year. Um, and the seven year, I don't quote me, but I think it's actually the oldest barrel aged gin in the world. Oh, wow! As of right now, um, and uh, and have those is, in Alabama is absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. No, I, I wish, I wish. I was hoping. Um, you know, I think we would, s- I think they would sell, but, um, but no, no, we don't. I mean, they were such short runs on them yeah. too. Okay. I mean, it was very, very limited. Um, I don't even think we have any of the seven year left at the distillery. I could be wrong. Um, I know, I think we've got some one year, but you know, it just took off. And I mean, I think like a like y'all had uh, the Wonderbird guys on mm-hmm. here, and their gin is fantastic yeah. as well. Um, but it's like they said, you know, barrel aging, barrel aged gin is just such a, I guess, an untapped market, yeah, niche I market guess. Kind of and but you know, gin has made started making this comeback, mm-hmm. which is great. 
And I think people, once they do get back into gin, they're like, oh, what's this barrel aged gin? Yeah, you know, for sure. and especially for your bourbon lovers, mm -hmm. um, you know, that seven year is like one of the best bourbons you've ever had, one of the best gins you ever had, had a baby, and it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that sounds know. good. Damn it, now I want some of that one. Find <clears throat> some. That sounds amazing. Well, you are in luck because that is my surprise bottle that uh -oh. I had. Look at them. Hell, I at have him. a Look sample that is. of this seven year. Look at that color. Look at that. That's that color beautiful. is fantastic. That is. Yeah. It? yeah, packaging is For a great. Gen? Oh, man. And I mean, you can tell, like, if I had the one in the four here, just like how yeah. awesome yeah. this packaging looks. But yeah, no, I know. And, you know, I think, like, in consumers' mind, too, they're like, oh, why is that gin brown? Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of just everyday consumers won't don't get into yeah. it like that. <clears throat> um, but I think the people that do no if they saw this bottle they were just like oh my god i've only only a couple people have tasted it. i mean this is the original bottle i got and you see how much oh, wow. is out yeah. of it <laughs> so i don't let i don't let too many people try this one out but i knew you know how big bourbon guys y'all were and awesome. i was like you know what they would absolutely love this oh, yeah. that's that's definitely a so, treat i appreciate you bringing that yeah, for us i'm no. excited about that especially like you were talking about wonderbird gin they were talking about their barrel aged gin and i had never heard of that before so that was, and then now see that y'all are also doing it. It's really cool. Yeah, no, I mean, be a new. We did, and um, and yeah, no, it's just like we just said. It's just an untapped market yeah. that you know. There's some out there. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's not right. like there's not only mm -hmm. a couple of them. I mean, there's a few floating around. Um, you just don't see them in Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. Um, That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we got it. Proof to 113 proof in charred American oak barrels. Yep, we do use new American oak barrels uh, to age our gin as of now, as of now. So getting a hold of barrels is not yeah. the easiest thing to do. So we may uh, differ on that in the mm -hmm. in the future, but as of right now, that's what we're doing. And uh, it's just this stuff is just so good. I'm going to have to indulge on this one with you. Sure. It's definitely you a treat. another one? Yeah. That original gin is just... I mean that it's almost like a Christmassy smell. That juniper yeah. just mm -hmm. jumps out. It jumps at you. out. At it's you. so fresh and clean tasting. But then on the on the palate, I mean, if you if you can tell on the palate, it's not just all juniper and no, pine. No, it's not. Yeah, you it, almost, and and that's why I like that we give you all of the botanicals that yeah. go into it. And that way you can really say, oh, it's like, oh, I am tasting yeah. this, this, and this throughout. Yeah, it's sure. not just that pine yeah, bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of them are. Yeah, that is. That is pretty fucking phenomenal. <laughs> you ain't got to it. No, I was still. It doesn't even it taste on. like a gin. No, no. I mean, like look, you could pick up some the gin notes in there, but if you just gave it to somebody, they would have no idea that that's yeah, a gin. They'd almost think it's just a, a funky bourbon. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> that is really phenomenal. Yeah, that stuff's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I haven't tasted this in months. That is, that is so. It's completely good. different. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's a lot going on in there. Yeah, yeah, and and look, it's like I said. I mean, even if we did have an Alabama, it's it's not one of those products that's just going to fly. No, you know, yeah, it's yeah. Also it's very a limited. special drinker mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, I appreciate but it. But I have not tasted anyone on this that hasn't tried to buy that bottle from me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. I mean, it's the people who do know about it. They love it. Yeah, I've been known to do that. Chase the rep in the parking lot. Like, hey, yeah, look at that yeah. bottle. <laughs> Maybe maybe tackle them on the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is phenomenal. Yeah, it's really good stuff. I don't even know what to compare it to. Well, just, that's I mean that's the thing. I mean it's I, hard to. There's really not much. No, you can compare it to. I mean I I gotta admit before we put this out, I've had a one year barrel aged gin because most gins are just mm -hmm. one year. But this stuff right here, I mean I was just, I was blown away and yeah. I was like. I don't even know how to sell it because it's so new. Yeah, you know? so, <laughs> it's, it's so, so different. It's so different. Yeah, I mean, it takes. It definitely takes a, uh, you know, a special gin drinker for this. Mm -hmm. So awesome. But yeah, it's fantastic. I appreciate that's, you bringing that's a that. Two thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> might Man. throw a third thumb in there. <laughs> yeah. Getting a, little, getting a little chubby. I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, man. I appreciate you bringing that case. Yeah, that, was, that was a good treat. Yeah, no, it's it. fantastic, man. I'm, I'm glad to share it with y'all. Yeah, and we're only halfway through, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, got I, I told yet. you when I got here, I was like, I got a gauntlet for you. I don't know if you're if you're ready for it. It is impressive. <laughs> I, I, I like his pours though. Yeah, he just gives us enough to taste it. Yep, I agree. Mm -hmm. 
Evan was on here today giving us like 20 ounces of each drink. Yeah, I'd be like right there. Yeah, like hammered, <laughs> hammered at lunch. Oh, well, like I said, we're only halfway through. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> well, you let me get it. a couple more yeah. pours in myself, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll just be like, oh, yeah, just pour it yourself. Yeah, there you the go. Funnel. <laughs> they are perfect. Oh, man. So, yeah, so that's the, the first line of us, and now we're going to move into the bourbons. So, um, one of my favorites. Yeah, and old, it's Old Soul Bourbon line, right? Um, and, you know, Old Soul – Names comes from, we think most people have an old soul, Mm -hmm. right? And uh, it just made sense for, uh, especially being out of Mississippi, where there are a ton of old souls out Mm -hmm. there um, to call it old soul. And and, uh, I love the name. I love the packaging. I think it's all great. Um, So we uh, start with the mash bill, right? So we're looking at 75 corn, 21 rye, 4% malted barley. And so that's why, like, you start with the label, like, you know, that's why we put the high rye statement on there, Mm -hmm. um, because it is a high rye mash bill, and a lot of people don't realize in the bourbon world, look, bourbon guys think they know everything, and (laughs) and I love it, right? I mean, I want you to be into something, Mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, I'll I'll be doing tastings, and they'll just walk by, and they're like, oh, rye, I don't want it, and I'm like, oh, no, no, you got to try it, come back here, you know, (laughs) I was like, you got to try it, Mm -hmm. Uh, I was like, I was like, it's 75 corn, and then they, like, They'll perk up and they're like, "All right, let me try it." And those are super you know, snobs. I think I think I a love lot, a rye. I think a lot of people just don't realize like most of your favorite bourbons out there probably are high rise, and yeah. you just don't know it. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know, and I'll and I'll watch them go pick up a bottle, and I'm like, "That is a high rise." They just don't <laughs> <laughs> they, because a lot of people don't tell you. You know, yeah. we're I, I love that we're super transparent. Yeah, straight so, up on the label. So we put it on the we put it on every label. You know, um, awesome. we do. We're open about that. We are still sourcing some mm-hmm. juice. Yeah. Um, we get it out of Indiana, which makes great juice, yep. right? Oh, yeah. um, I will say one thing that's different that I d- I know that makes us different is that everything we get is white dog. And so we get it all in, we barrel it and gotcha. store it up ourselves. Um, and, you know, a barrel sitting in, in Mississippi heat for years, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you're talking about a four-year yeah. bourbon tasting a lot more mature and have a lot more components going through it because yeah. it sat through 100 degree, hundred plus degree heat yeah. every single day, year after year. Very, very um, little winters. With it, with it, yeah, with it barely going below mm-hmm. – uh, freezing temps um, and making that process go dormant, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, not to knock anything that Tennessee, Kentucky, and Indiana, whatever else they, yeah. you know, right. get wherever else you're getting your bourbon from these days. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just think it's one thing that puts us, you know, that makes us different and and uh, and makes our bourbon special. Sure, um, is uh, everything else that we're doing. So, but uh, but yeah, this is just the standard small batch. Um, Look to the so, fancy cups. Yeah, let's do it. It's a blend of a four and a five year old bourbon. So, yeah. This one is actually ready, uh, available at ABC. Is Easy it? to come by. Okay. Oh, yeah. Find this at all your participating ABC locations. <laughs> <laughs> or at Jalapenos. Or at Jalapenos. At all four. We don't sell a lot of bourbon, but we try. And when you get that, like I said, when you get that one guy in there, yeah. there That's you go. He likes. <laughs> That's what I like when I'm doing inventory and I'll go in there and the old soul will be halfway through. I'm like, yes, somebody so, came in. Someone, somebody appreciates yeah, it. Yeah, someone came in. It might have been Richard coming over. <laughs> <It might've> been. <laughs> I have to ask Richard if he came over. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, Only you hadn't have had this before, have you? Mm-mm. It is very good. You know, I tell people, I mean, I, I don't want to say start a bourbon because, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I think it's just a good all-around great bourbon. It is. You know, I mean, it's 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 got that, you know, at the beginning, you kind of taste that slight little sweetness maybe that you might get from some of that corn, but that right. 21 rye really is mm-hmm. going to pack through the mid palate um, and into the finish, yeah. uh, which I just, I love about it. It's not an overbearing so, rye taste or anything to it, though. No, no, not by any means. Like you said, a lot of bourbon snobs not like myself or like I, I'm, I don't drink rye that's gross and you're like what about you know so and so's a rye no it's not like go look it up it is <laughs> absolutely you know and I mean and for a 90 proof it I mean it tastes more like an 80 proof or something I mean it, yeah it's very almost like a basil or yeah, something yeah. I mean, down d- down at 80 yeah no I think that I, just means you're alcoholic but I, I, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my wife would agree if that was a <laughs> you know she loves the 80 proofs that's her, that's her thing. 
Forgot, well, forgot I'm, how good that one was. I mean, I think, is, yeah, just how good ours is. I mean, I've had a, a bunch of women getting into. I actually did the the whiskey women of Alabama that oh, yeah. um, Ashley talked about. Mm-hmm. I, I did that. It was like, like cool. one of the first things I did when I got <laughs> when I got here. I was like, uh, Linnell asked me to do it, and I was like, Yeah, I'll awesome. do it. Yeah, cool. absolutely. And um, you know, like I said, just how smooth and quality it is. I, I think women love our bourbon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what you think, man? Mm. I'm two thumbs up. Yeah, definitely two thumbs up. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I think at forty four ninety nine too. Yeah, it's a it's quality, good price point. great, great quality product at that price. Um, kind of right in the middle, you know, where mm-hmm. there's a lot of yeah. bourbons hanging out at that price point. Yep. Um, you know, I think we fit in nicely there. Oh, yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. Like I said, my my snobbiness will come out because I hadn't dried it in a while because I've been <laughs> drinking the tin types. <laughs> I think I bought. 10 bottles of that oh yeah every time I went to abc they had like eight bottles i put all eight and she's like you getting all eight and i'm like yeah you got any more like yeah oh, that's it yeah <laughs> well you know Let's the people that the people that know know yeah you know and um you know i i doubt you can do that this year i, yeah. I think this year will be the year where it's that that big release that yeah, the yeah. abc does mm-hmm. I don't think you'll find it after that weekend. Yeah, hard I really to come don't. By. And and we're not bringing a lot into the state, you know. Um, you know, and we'll and I'll get to it. I'll get to it when we get to them. But yeah, it's just super limited. Yeah. Um, super it's limited. Really fantastic too. Yeah. Actually, I think it was last year, maybe the beginning of this year. They had eight bottles at ABC. Richard called me. He's like, man, they got eight bottles up here. I'm like, he's like, should I get it? I was like, get it. it yeah. Was it hundred and nine dollars? I think something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it, the this past year it should have been ninety nine ninety nine. Okay. On the dot. So I, I yeah. told him I was like, just get it. He's like, man, I don't know. It's hundred bucks. I'm like, if you don't like it, I'll buy it from you. Hundred bucks. He's like, I might get it. There you <laughs> so go. I, I went. I went the next day. They had seven bottles. Yeah. I was like, he got one. I looked up in the back corner. There's a bottle he hid. Oh yeah! So I grabbed that bottle. I bought that bottle too. And he called me. He's like, "You son of a bitch! Did you buy my yeah. bottle?" I was like, "Yeah, I bought all eight of them." Yeah. He's you like, didn't buy it. He's like, "I hit it. I was coming back to tomorrow." I'm like, "We missed out." I see stuff like that all the time. I'm like, "Man, I'm like, you know, checking my products on the shelves. I'm like, what is that random bottle doing back?" Somebody trying to hide. I'm like, it. someone was trying to hide that yeah. bottle. He's coming back for it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bought. I bought all of them. He missed out. <laughs> I think I did give oh, him some. Funny. I shared some with him though. There you go. There you and, go. And I brought Matt some of my bottle too. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Well, that's what it's all about, right? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, these spirits are so good. They should be shared. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's you what know? I tell people all the time. They'll come to my house, and I have, you know, Pappy and different stuff I'm fortunate to get, and they're like, man, I never had it. I'm like, let's get it. They're like, no, nah, don't get your expensive stuff. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like, that's what I got it for. Yeah. Like, let's yeah. try it. If it's, a, it. if it's open. Yeah. yeah. Like, you never, I'll, that's my problem. I open everything. That's yeah. my problem. Yeah. Well, my wife says, know. like, you're. On, I looked in the yard. You're walking from the mailbox open in the bottle. I'm like, well, we're yeah. waiting for it all week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would say if, if you have uh, more than one of those bottles, one of them should be open. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, that's that's kind of my rule with yeah. it. So that's what. I mean, like you said, people come over and share it with you. Like you never had it before. Yeah. I had a buddy of mine. He's like, man, I didn't never thought I would try stuff I tried at your house. He's like, I'm. I was like, that's what it's for. Like, yeah, it is absolutely. Well, imagine people going to my house. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> candy store <laughs> they go down to the basement they're like man you got a problem and i'm like no it's not like that <laughs> it's okay work. maybe a little bit yeah <laughs> work related <laughs> yeah yeah it's my business it's my office down yeah. there <laughs> so we got the single barrel coming so, up next yeah so we uh we also do a 109 proof um six-year single barrel and mm-hmm. we did that because obviously the trend in, in bourbon is is cash drink stuff, yeah. mm-hmm. higher proof stuff. You know, a lot of the bourbon guys, I mean, that's just what they want, right? That's what they're gravitating towards. Um, and so we felt like, you know, as a supplier, we should give them, give the people what they want, right? And I, I definitely feel like this was a smart move. Um, you can actually find this uh, in some ABC yeah, stores. We did, a few of them. we did an LTO um, uh, with the ABC, and so we brought... I would say about a pallet in, you know, that was it. I mean, not, not, not that much at all, yeah. um, which was really cool. And, and, uh, and it sold, I know dealers downtown sold the crap out of it awesome. when they, when it came in, they just, they, they would call me and they're like, you got any more? And I'm like, <laughs> give me like two weeks and I'll get it over there to you. <laughs> it's going to take me a minute, but I, but I will get it to you. <laughs> so less than a hundred barrels, this particular one or? Yeah, no, yeah, ab- absolutely. I mean, like in in you know, we do have still have some that can go out, but yeah. we we almost looked at it as an LTO ourselves, you know. Um and like I said, it was just literally just to give the people what they wanted. I mean, just something a little bit yeah. higher proof mm-hmm. that, you know, I mean, a lot of a lot of, you know, experienced bourbon drinkers 
don't drink 90 proof anymore they just don't i mean they've graduated Mm -hmm. as i like to call it you know um and uh and it's kind of i think every spirit category has that right wine beer and spirit Mm -hmm. you know with beer first thing you don't want to put in someone's hand they've never had a beer before is a triple hot <laughs> you know <laughs> aged ipa whatever um you know that that probably would make them never yeah, yeah, drink a beer sure. again yeah, you know yeah, they need to drink a Coors or a Miller Lite. you know they need to start out at the basics yeah. and work their way up you know and i feel like you know every every category has that mm-hmm. and so i think you know it's good to start at just standard 90 proof but you know, you want to move up. Everybody oh, wants to graduate, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what I was giving Matt crap about talking about the first one that is so smooth, and that's why I said he might be an alcoholic. But that's what a buddy of mine told me. I was like, I love this Jack Daniels single barrel, 133 proof. He's like, it's horrible. It's so stout. I was like, well, regular Jack just tastes like candy, sweet tea. Yeah. He's like, I think you might be an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do have to now, work your way up and yeah. acquire that taste for sure. Now I'm just going to tell him I graduated. Right. Yeah. A new term. There you go. That's all you got to do. I graduated. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Mm. See, I mean, the notes on this one is just a little bit more yeah. in your face, yeah, right? For sure. But it's still just that same quality product. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, just aged a little bit longer. We keep the same mash bill throughout every single bourbon that we do. And so you're looking at 75, 21, 4 okay. on all of these you see up in front of you, uh, which I think is great because you yeah. kind of keep that same profile. Mm-hmm. You're just obviously going up in age statement yeah. and, and up in proof in, in this case. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> changes what you uh, feel out of it. It's good stuff, too. Yeah, it is. Very good. Man, I know we're not just saying it just because cases on here, but that's right. two thumbs up, too. I agree. Yeah, I mean, no, when it's good, y'all. when it's good liquor, it's good. Liquor. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, well, it makes my job a lot easier. It is. Yeah, <laughs> I can see where being a salesperson for this. Yeah, I mean, sell it's itself. Pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, abs- absolutely. You just got to right? get it in front of people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, once you once you bust out this line of products, they're yeah. just like, oh my god, like this is <laughs> this is insane. You yeah. know, this is great, and it's all great. I mean, yes. and that, like I said, it does make my job a lot easier. Oh yeah, <laughs> it is. Phenomenal pours. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll definitely have to get y'all to the distillery yeah, for sure. soon. I'm um, go check it out. You know, we just had a uh, a tin type release party, which I'm sure you would wish you were at. Right, that'd uh, been awesome. <laughs> don't worry, even I didn't make that one, so uh, don't feel too bad. But yeah, no, we um, we definitely you know would love for y'all to come over and. You know, get a try all these. It was funny. We uh, at Cathead Jam, so we throw a music festival mm-hmm. every year. Like I said, mentioning our live music, um, you know, aspects, and and that's all what we're all about. So, you know, a lot of people don't realize Cathead Jam every June. You know, we throw a music festival, yeah. and yeah, it's some, funny when some I got good names in it too. When yeah. I, yeah, when I got hired on, I was they were like, all right, yeah, we throw a music festival every uh, June, Cathead Jam, and I was just like, okay, yeah, whatever. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, let's you know, let's get to the spirits, let's get to it. <laughs> and uh, and and then um, you know, I really didn't think about it because we didn't have it my uh, first year, mm-hmm. and so then this past year in January we we're having a meeting, and they're like, all right, guys, we're gonna release the uh, the music festival yeah. lineup, and I was like, oh, okay. And he was like, well, we got the Flaming Lips headlining. And I was like, wait, what? And I was <laughs> like, and they were like, yeah, and Goose is headlining one night too. I was like, oh in, my. In Mississippi? And That's yeah. like in Alabama, you know. At, like, you know, at the distillery. Yeah, I mean, awesome. we do it all yeah. at the distillery, which honestly may be one of the better times to come over because, I mean, we dressed the, the distillery up. It looked awesome. Very you cool. know, the whole VIP area was inside the distillery, which was really cool. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was a black, trust me, I, as the owners, I had too, way too good of a time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize what I was getting myself into. And then they said the lineup, I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be great. <laughs> but yeah, we had Shaky cool. Graves and Larkin Poe. I mean, we, you know, Very Daniel cool. Donato, I mean, we had some yeah, awesome had some people names. there. So yeah. yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'll be interested to see what we have this year. So I'm Same sure. here. We're going in. Yeah. Go. I know my wife, we talked about it last year and we yeah, almost, yeah. and something came up, but. We'll I mean, on. the lineup was yeah. It was amazing. It was no, great. and was I, cool. well, now I'm like, all right, my my standards are here yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do this year? Yeah, yeah for sure. No, I know, I know. I'm like, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> but to <laughs> see them being so passionate about live music, it, that gets my heart. I mean, it, it yeah. does because I mean, live music and liquor. Oh yeah. I mean, Maybe. yeah, absolutely. They go hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, no, it's and, a beautiful thing. And we do what we can, like I said. I mean, I you know, one of my favorite spots uh over in Birmingham, Crestwood Tavern, 
I'm lucky to live right behind it, so I can nice. walk home if I need to at the end of the night. <laughs> but uh, but we sponsor their uh, t- they do Tuesday nights live music, and I mean you'll go up there at one o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday night, and you can barely get in. That's I great. mean it is insane, awesome. and it's some of the best free live music you will ever hear in your life. I mean it is awesome. Really good people come through and get every Tuesday, every Tuesday. I'll have to check yeah, that they out. haven't taken one off yet since I've been doing nice. it. Well, so, awesome. but we do a little sponsorship up there and just to help out and it's, it's fantastic. So yeah. we look at stuff like that and try and partner with places and, um, it's been great. So that's awesome. Very, yeah. yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah. So, but, uh, but yeah, no, we're going to move on to the store pick, uh, old soul now. Um, I was lucky enough, uh, shout out to the guys up in Huntsville at windmill beverages. Um, they, they did a store pick for us this year and I love our store pick labeling. So this is brand oh, yeah. new. Beautiful. What we did this year, we've got this Navy blue with the gold piping on it. We've got their little logo down here. I think is really cool. Um, uh, we do all of our single barrels at six years. So even this one, uh, okay. comes in at six year, but this is cash strength. Uh, so I think we're looking at one nineteen. It's beautiful. Point eight. It's beautiful. That is. <laughs> if I ever yeah. see one of those labels, I just grab it. I don't even care. Like, just get it. Yeah. Yeah. So these guys, I, I mean, like I said, I was so happy they were they were able to get in on this one. Uh, we were only able to do one independent barrel this year. Okay. Um, the ABC did buy four, and so you're. I mean, those should be hitting the sell- shelves any day. Okay. So um, yeah. We'll look for those. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been looking for them. <laughs> I don't even know when they're dropping, and I'm like, people are asking hey, when me. They're coming. Yeah. Yeah. People are asking me. I'm like, I have no idea, guys. But I was like, I'll let you know when I see yeah, it. Yeah. See one pop up. <laughs> so. And you, you'll get a kick out of this story talking about the distillery stuff when we were down in Mexico. I think I had bought a Day of the Dead bottle they had like from the last year's like 2022, 20, 23 Day of the Dead bottle. And she was like, well, actually, we're having our Day of the Dead festival tomorrow night. We got a new bottle coming out. You got to call your rep, Lucas, see if he can get you in maybe because it's a VIP only kind of thing. Yeah. So I called him and he's like, yeah, how many people you got? I was like, I got seven people. I got some friends here in Mexico. He's like, okay. So they put us on the VIP list and they treated us like gold. Oh, nice. There's like 300 people there, maybe. I was probably the only gringo. Yeah. <laughs> Just like you said, I had a little bit too much fun, probably. Yeah, that, that's when you know it's going to be a good oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was up by the stage. I met the owner, the artist, the master distiller. Yeah. I told Telemundo to get the wild in my way. I had my little iPhone. Yeah, yeah. My partner, yeah. Giovanni's like, the fuck are you doing? I'm like, yeah. I just got on TV. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden, the master distiller comes to our table like, hey, y'all want to try this? We only made, they only made 200 bottles. Yeah. They're like, you want to try a bottle? Oh, he man. popped open a bottle, and we drank half of it. Oh, that's awesome. And I ended up buying a bottle of it. I was like... That's awesome. They, they thought I was a celebrity, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're the only gringo in yeah. spots like that, because yeah. I've, I've been, You've been there. there yeah, so. Oh, no, you are a celebrity. They <laughs> Especially if you're hammered and you're just, <laughs> they said 300 people, and I'm just going up front, and like, hey, hey, can I try that? Like, they don't know. Is, like, and if you're going poor to poor with them, oh, yeah. there's all the respect in the world yeah, after, for that, sure. after that night. <laughs> beautiful isn't it man that's amazing yeah this stuff is fantastic it's cool going through the progression of it as well yeah yeah right just that little bit of extra aging and Mm -hmm. like you said the same mass bill same liquid just the aging of it yeah absolutely it's amazing how much it changes the profile of it and i do get a little bit different on this like i I think a lot of our store picks almost like that little dried fruit Mm -hmm. kind of characteristic kind of starts coming in we had a store pick over in georgia um uh the uh, bottle shop in columbus if you ever go through columbus yeah yeah, i've been there go by the bottle shop it is fan they they did a really good job of that store and have for years i think that's the place i actually went first and i saw this was before me and you met and then i think like a week later case came to the restaurant i met him i was like son of a bitch i just saw like a whole barrel there i could have bought some (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, had, I was just for some reason I was going through there. Yeah, uh, they're on the list every year. I mean, yeah. and well, you, and if you've been there, they should yeah. be on the list yeah. every year. Oh I mean, yeah, it's a cool store. But they, I had someone. Um, I ran into them, and in, I think in Montgomery, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I bought a store pick of uh, at the bottle shop," and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, "Yeah," and they're like, "It almost has a banana pudding type flavor characteristic to it," and I was like, "Really?" And he was like, "Yeah," and. and it was like I think that's in a, in a lot of y'all's picks. Like oh, yeah. it's just that like almost dried fruit, like mm-hmm. you know, a little banana um, flavor bit. into it. Yeah, that was funny you say that one. Went to about a month ago to Jack Daniels Distillery and did a tasting, mm-hmm. and the guy said that he's like, "You pick up any banana?" I was like, I "Actually, do like I never thought of yeah. that before." Yeah, no, you will. I mean, and you'll see. I mean, I've I've been saying it with this guy. I get it. I really get it in this in awesome. this uh, in the tin type too. 
But uh, but That's yeah, cool. no, I I mean I I think our store picks are just fantastic. They are, they are fantastic. I've yeah. never had a bad one. And at one nineteen, at how smooth this is. Yeah. I mean, I did a taste out when I set up the display uh, up there last week, and then I did a tasting right mm-hmm. off the back of it, and everyone was like, "This one nineteen," and I was like, "Yeah," I was like, "How <laughs> insane is that?" It catches up with you. And they were just like, "It doesn't drink like one nineteen." I was like, "I at know." All. I was yeah. like, "None of our higher proof stuff." drinks the way it yeah, does i mean sure. it you know you would think it would yeah. you know i mean any, anything 120 and over and i'm like it's probably about to be pretty hot yeah, you know <laughs> it doesn't know but uh you get that bite to it or nothing no and like you said i just like how the label looks it looks cool with the whoever picked it the little label in the middle of it and kind of yeah, yeah it no out. i i just i love what we do to differentiate the yeah. the store pick mm-hmm. um you know and, and having the the 109 right here yeah you know so what we did uh before this this year all the store picks were this label so mm-hmm. same label yeah, yeah. with the blue stripe and it I would have you. that little windmill like mm-hmm. emblem right there the, whatever store but we finally we were just like no we need to separate it we need to separate it and and make it because it is special it is they're you know they're taking the time and the Mm -hmm. money to pick one from us we need to do something a little extra and so that's why i I just i love that label i like the gold leaf look to it with the the stealer Mm -hmm. at the bottom instead of just like the Mm -hmm. you know just a regular print yeah yeah and that's another thing too i'll I'll say you know we we got to talking about you didn't know that we made all these products right Mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't you know, and, yeah. I'll, and I'll see people buying the bourbon um, or looking at the bourbons, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I work for Cathead, old soul yeah, bars, yeah. and they're like, y'all make a bourbon? And they're standing right in front of it, you know? <laughs> but one thing that we do is if you do look on the barrel at the ver- mm-hmm. or on the bottle, um, excuse me, at the very bottom, we do put the distillery on yeah, there, yeah, and it sure. says yeah. Cathead Distillery. Mm-hmm. Like I said, mm-hmm. most, pe- most distilleries that are like that, they do give you some idea. Yeah, just, if you look on the bottom of that Bristow right over there, yeah, at the yeah, very see, bottom, yeah. it says mm-hmm. Cathead right there. So... Um, we do. Who does a little bit different story down here? <laughs> you you won't know what it is um, until you, <laughs> until you crack it open. And, but it is on the back label, yeah. so we do put it on there. And, and it is phenomenal. Yeah, no, it is. It, it's fantastic. That's one. I think that was the first thing you let me try when you came over one day and we were talking about it. And I asked him like, "What's the label?" He's like, "It's a weird story." I'm like, "That's tell me. That's what I, I love weird stories. <laughs> yeah. That's your thing." So he started talking about the crossroads and blues, and I was like. I don't. I ain't yeah. tried it. Yet. I want it. Sold. Yeah, <laughs> sold. Yeah, I tried it. I was like, definitely sold. Well, and it it actually makes really cool tequila mezcal it does, spin, yeah. uh, cocktails. It I really that's what does. You tried Matt, the, the crossroads. Yeah, yeah I, I talked yeah. with uh, I talked with Jose over at Audios about. I was yeah. like, your next menu. I was like, you got to do something with yeah, mezcal too. and hoodoo just because I know you can come up with something. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's so and, different. And shared that that cocktail that you did. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've told plenty of people about awesome. it because I'm like, hey. You can do this. Yeah, it does. Sure. It does work. Yeah, you just got to yeah, think you know. outside of the box. Absolutely right. So, uh, rating. Oh man, it's three thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> you driving to Huntsville to go buy one? Yeah. <laughs> so, what does that sell for in Huntsville? So, uh, I think they had it on the shelf at eighty nine ninety nine. That's a deal. Yeah, I mean that yeah, is a rich deal. Well, for yeah. a good quality pick. Yeah, yeah. It's I fantastic. Mean, most of them are around that price point. Yeah, yeah. For sure. right. Um, and for something so rare, like I said, it's the only independent barrel in all of Alabama. Awesome. You know, there's not another one. So, um, no, they they did a great job. I'm surprised they even let one independent barrel out. Yeah, right. We, we were trying to get some uh, Corazon tequila barrels. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They have store pick, you know, ABC emblem. Yeah, you know, yep. Our buddy Gilbo about it. He said, "No, nah, we do all those." Yep. I was like, "I can't get one." They're like, "No." Yeah, I'm like, mm-hmm. not yet. Okay, not yet. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Keep pushing. You'll you'll weasel your way into <laughs> one. I'll try to. <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, let's get to these granddaddies over here. Oh yeah, mm. um, the good stuff right there. Right. And so we've got the two tin types here. Um, Tintype number one, it's got Captain Luke on the front. Mm. Um, obviously, Tintype, uh, just the name behind it. Obviously, this is Tintype photography, this type of photography yeah. that it takes to uh, make this black and white photo, right? So that's why the series is named that. Obviously, that's why we have a different artist on this one in Tintype series. So we're gotcha. trying to make it kind of that more collectible. Obviously, yeah. that's what bourbon people get to yeah, do, yeah. right? They love collecting bourbons. Oh, yeah. And so I think it's going to be an awesome one for your home collection. Oh, yeah, I really sure. do. Not only cool. not only because of the label, but the juice is also very yeah. good. A um, little bit different than than last year's. It is still uh, seven year. Okay. It's got that seven year age statement mm-hmm. on it. Uh, but a different proof this year. This one is I want to say one nineteen, just like that. Yeah, I think I've tried the one nineteen. Maybe the twenty twenty two and twenty twenty three. I think I've the twenty twenty two. 
the okay. last year. Okay, so, yeah, because so, so this is this is 23. 2023. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I guess I've tried 21 and 22, maybe. Yeah, so I had two different years. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, so I this bought every bottle I could find. So the, <laughs> I think I actually bought a bottle at Windmill. We were coming through. When we went to. Oh, Jack did Daniels. you? Yeah. I was shocked though they was those were there for so long. I think I, I actually like, texted you about it, like, look what I found. <laughs> yeah, no, I I did a um I don't know I actually did it here in Tuscaloosa. Mm-hmm. They have a bourbon group, uh, yeah. the uh, MOB yeah, yeah, uh-huh. guys. Yeah, um, I came over and let them try it, and um, we I actually had my sample bottle of this of last year's, and um and they were all just like, where can I get this? That's awesome. And I was like, I got one place for you. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's Windmill Beverages yeah, yeah. up in everyone else had sold out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Windmill Beverages up in Huntsville. And they were like, oh, no, we'll get out there and yeah. get it. And, I, and after over about the next two months, <laughs> I noticed like every time I would go through, I'm like, oh, there's one or two bottles missing. There's one or two. <laughs> and then uh, the other day when I went through, literally no. every single store was out. And I, I was know. like, someone yeah. got onto it. And that was probably me. You know, probably, probably, <laughs> probably saw some press or something and they were yeah. like, oh, that's it. it. So, For sure. Yeah. I'll so. be at your house later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you why, why you're pouring this one. Funny story with it. I had a, one of the bourbon groups. I'm like a national bourbon group. We try to, you know, win bottles and different stuff. I told, I was telling one guy about this particular tin type. I was like, I'll send you a sample of it. Let you try it out. Like he's one, like he has every single Pappy. Like mm-hmm. he's always trying to sell them and run games with Pappy 15, 20, 23 old Forrester birthday bourbon. Yeah. Everything you can think of. I was like, just try this. Thank I was you. like, on, I'm not just saying it. It honestly stands up there with the pappies. I was like, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but just try it. <laughs> sent him a sample. He wrote me back. He said, holy shit. What, the, what is that? That's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> and I sent him a picture of the bottle. He's like, are you kidding me? How much is it? I'm like, was it 99 He's yeah, like, there ain't no way that's ninety nine dollars. Told him three fifty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, "That's no, that's like no way." Have a bottle next week. Yeah. <laughs> I think I actually sent him a bottle of it. He's like, "There's no way that's ninety nine dollars." I'm like, "It is." Yeah. So it, I mean, you know, newsflash or you know, sorry, but it is going up a little bit this oh, year. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But you know, every, what hasn't gone up yeah, lately, sure. right? But you know, honestly, I, I think it's going to be one twenty nine ninety nine. I, I mean, still, I mean, still, still yeah. for that, such a rare bottle too. Yeah. So I mean, Alabama is only getting uh, the seven year one hundred and twenty bottles okay. for the entire state. Yeah. Oh, the nine year sixty. Wow, that's it. It'd be hard they're getting to ten. By. They're getting ten cases. I mean, and so how many? How many is Montgomery keeping? So I don't know. You're gonna have to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to go over to Mississippi to get that. Uh, you, <laughs> unless you want to go stand in line at the uh, ABC An store. Allocation. And, See if any any slips through the cracks. I mean, like I said, I'll be shocked if this yeah. makes it through that first day this oh, yeah, year. Yeah. I mean, I just think with the, all the press that it's gotten, the labels are obviously just Very badass. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I, especially I, if you're like in the lower part of the list, you're not yeah. getting the pappies and all these big ones. Yeah, come across this, you're like, I just that looks cool. I'll put it in behind my bar. And yeah. check it out. And see. I'll say last year. I mean, I was leaving a store. I was. Um, it was the there was already people lined up. I think it was the Friday bef- the day before, mm. and someone saw my shirt. And they were like, hey. And they stopped me, and I was like, uh, I was like, what? <laughs> they were like, is there any tintype in there? <laughs> and I was like, uh, maybe. <laughs> I was like, and he goes, all right, that's all I need. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's got to make you feel so, good, though. Yeah, no, I was I was shocked. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, that's this guy, cool. he's looking for, I was like, he knows. I was like, he's in the know, you it, know. It, it wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny though. I do. I do it all the time because I'm. I'm having constantly having to go back in the stores, mm. uh, the back stock of the yeah, yeah. ABC stores. I, I I know what everyone has. Yeah. Um, just stocking my own product, and mm-hmm. all the time people are. I'll, they'll see me coming out, and they're like, what "Just tell." They're like, "Just tell me what's what bad." Back just there. tell me what's bad. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know. I wasn't even looking, and they're like, oh, "Yeah, I know you know what's bad there." <laughs> I, was, I was like, I don't know. There's some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, that one's really good. Again, though, like we said, I mean, just go look on the shelf. There's so much good mm-hmm. stuff on the shelf, you know. Mm-hmm. What was last year's? What What That's is that? One twenty. I think it's one twenty two point three. Don't quote me on that. Uh, yeah, one twenty two point three. Look at you. <laughs> look at, look at, at you. It's so useful, so useful for something one? up there. What's this one come in? One nineteen point okay. five. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna have to savor this one. Unless Justin just downs it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My favorite. 
You want to smell my? No. <laughs> <laughs> smell my finger. You know, going back to the to the label. So funny story. Um, you know, Captain Luke's no longer with us, mm-hmm. and I swear this label may have done him in. Actually, so rumor has it that you know this takes hours to take. So those tin type photography. I mean, you got to sit there. It's one of those where you got to sit there. So he had to sit there, cigarette <laughs> in hand, burning. And legend has it, he smoked three packs to take this <laughs> one picture. And I was like, God, by God, I was like, yeah. we killed him. We killed, you know? killed him all. <laughs> I mean, dang. Hey, but you, you know? got a great cover out of it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, well, and now, he lives, now he lives in infamy. <laughs> to, to honor such a legend like that, that is. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's awesome, yeah, um, that to, is awesome to yeah. see the name living on. Mm. So, and Timothy Duthie, so we're um, big with Music Maker Relief Foundation, if you're familiar with yeah. them. And um, and so he actually did the does the labels. Okay, cool for for these, um, which is really cool. And I think too, if you have now that you got a second ten type, it's probably gonna sell it even more. Yeah, yeah I think having them next to each other, oh, yeah. it'll kind of look, you know, to the consumer standpoint. Like this like, is something like yeah. check it out. Yeah, like oh wait, Series, wait like yeah. I've seen that bottle before because a lot of people probably have seen it before. But now they're gonna be like, wait, now there's another one now, mm-hmm. and the yeah, the interest and the the talk will get yeah, yeah. more oh, just yeah, off sure. of I that. I think so, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, we released it. Uh, you know, we just released it very very much recently um, within the last couple weeks. Mm-hmm. But uh, but I don't know if y'all follow them. There's a there's an Instagram. The label got leaked. For the oh, nine yeah. year, yeah, before way before we even told anyone about it. Hell, I barely even knew about it, yeah. and so uh, because yeah, you asked me, you've seen it, hadn't you? I'm like, I hadn't seen it. He's like, you hadn't seen it yet. I'm like, no, I hadn't yeah, seen it. no, <laughs> no. And well, it's so funny enough. There's a uh, Instagram out there. You'll probably want to follow. It. It's called Coming Whiskey. Have you ever seen that? Mm-hmm. So it's this guy that I guess has so much time, too much time on his hands. <laughs> but uh, but all all that Instagram page does is leak. Oh, wow. bourbons coming out huh. like so he basically scours the ttb website yeah, yeah, what, and because you can do it i mean yeah. you can look I, up and see what's I, coming i did the same thing on tequila when trying to get it for downtown i look at it like every morning like there you something's go. New. <laughs> like, one of the reps would call me like hey i don't know if you know but uh you know 1800 cucumbers coming out i'm like i got two bottles next to me i already bought it <laughs> yeah. like of course you do <laughs> yeah right <laughs> i know exactly what he's doing oh man. so he leaked it out yeah, no. So I mean, this was God probably back in September, oh, wow. easily. Yeah, I'm and not, I, uh, I don't follow him because I didn't see that one. That was that I was. I would have been texting you about it. Well, what's funny? That was the first time I even saw it. <laughs> I mean, I they, he told me before the company told me. You, I was go, like, you go to your boss like the hell is this? Yeah, right. Where is this coming like, from? I was like, yeah, I was like, it's like I'm hell? still with the company, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I saw that the uh, who was it? The jug in uh, Meridian. Okay, they, they did a review about it the other night oh, on did Instagram. They? The nine year. Yeah, so they already have theirs. Yeah, yeah I didn't. Yeah, I didn't yeah. watch it because I don't want to know nothing about it yet. It yeah. was the uh, the jug liquor and uh, I think they have a master of the bourbon picking group they do with the jug and okay. uh, Commodore. Okay, I think yeah, they think they two go together. That's one of our spots we go to over in Columbus. Uh, the jug. <laughs> they got some cool. They got some really cool stuff. Yeah. So I will say if. Uh, Next time you do go through Jackson or go to Jackson, um, I said you go over there for something, don't you? you I, w- I went there one time for my Tesla. Oh, that's that sort of center there. That's what it is. Yeah. That's why I called him. I'm like, can I go tour the distillery? He's like, man, we're closed today. I'm like, the hell am I supposed to do in Jackson? <laughs> yeah. so, actually, I just drove around the liquor stores in a yeah. in a rental <laughs> rental Tesla. I was having nice. time in my life by myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time you do go over there, yeah. I don't. Um, did, you didn't go by there that day, did I you? I did not. So the gift shop is always open. <laughs> and God damn it. and um, <laughs> for all, for all your swag that you, left you're that try- part, you left that part out for all your swag that you're trying. Well, it it's usually open it all the time because you said they were they were limited staff and they were working on some of the steals because that was yeah. That, yeah. was, that was before the Jam Fest and all that stuff opened back up, so it might not have been open. I'm not sure. That's true. It may have not. Well, and if the guys are traveling, because um, yeah, yeah. the gift shop is actually the VP's office. Okay. And so usually he's sitting in there, and he's got the gift shop like all around awesome. him. I'm pretty sure uh, it wasn't open that day for some reason. But funny enough, I went over there one day to pick up samples and, mm-hmm. and, um, and get some stuff from the distillery. And next thing you know, it was like a Friday, so yeah. no one's there. Mm-hmm. And uh, this lady just walks into the distillery, and I was like, I don't think she's supposed to be here. So, <laughs> so I was like, hey, ma'am, I was like, can I do anything for you? She's like, well, I just didn't know if y'all were open, you know? And I'm like, we're not, you know? I was like, gift shop's <laughs> open, though. And so I let her in there, and, and man, she started buying. I mean, she was like, awesome. okay, I want two <laughs> bottles of this, four bottles of that, you know, all this stuff. 
And um, and so I'm like, well, dang, let me go get a box, you know. Yeah. Got, so I went and got an empty box. I mean, I filled a box up for her. She was getting keychains, all kinds of stuff. Awesome. And then she goes, all right, yeah, this is what I want. And then I was like, okay. And then I was like, crap, I don't know how to ring you out. <laughs> I was like, That's not my job. So I like opened the door and I was like, hey. And one of the distillery guys came over. I was like, do you know how to ring people out? And he goes, no. <laughs> so I was like, all right. So we sat there and figure it out. fiddled with it. And then finally I was like, oh, this, this is it. We got it. I was like, we got That's it. Awesome. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And so, and then I called, I called the guys. I was like, man, I just made a huge sale up here. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. And then they were like, what are you doing at the distillery? <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm working. Yeah, I'm working. I'm trying, to, trying to make y'all some money. <laughs> oh, man. So this one you're pouring, this one's nine year, correct? Yeah. So the one before seven years, this is nine year. Yeah. So this is the new ten type. And who's on the label? Nine that year. one, Herman. Hinson? Yeah. So this is Herman Henson. Um, do you know anything about Herman? I so don't. old, old blues. You know, one of the originals. You know, way back in the day. Um, so his story is is him and uh, Jimi Hendrix actually were super close, and a lot of their songs. If you start YouTubing and Spotify and pull up a bunch of songs. They're Jimi Hendrix songs, and so it's funny because I don't know if a lot of people don't realize like they don't know whose song it actually was, but they both got different versions of it, and he's got different versions of some other great songs too. But I think the best part about uh, him is you know he's eighty three, eighty four somewhere around there. He lives in Atlanta, still gigging around Atlanta. Very cool. He just played. uh, One of my coworkers told me he just played Northside Tavern up in Sandy Springs, Georgia, the other day. I used to live like a mile from that place. (laughs) I went there all the time. That's crazy. And uh, and they said he played there, and I was like, "You've got to be kidding me!" I was like, "That is awesome." So, uh, really cool thing. Um, Look on the back of that bottle. And one thing we did is we actually put a QR code on there. Okay, cool. So you can actually go. It takes you to a playlist. Oh wow! Of awesome. his music, cool. and you can the way home. sit there and listen to it while you while you're sipping. Be on cool it. to get him to sign a bottle of it too. I, you know, honestly, which, you know, he's eighty. If he's eighty three, eighty four, he probably doesn't have a, a good website. And yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can look up his yeah, tour. Try, you know, <laughs> around Atlanta. It. But uh, but I'm sure if you showed up to one and, and oh yeah, you know it, he would love it. Then yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he would. So, and I'm That's, sure you won't be the first one. Yeah. you know, I mean, it just came out, so you yeah, might be the first one. Be. But um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's uh, it's awesome. And I, I honestly, I may go with you if you go there and, <laughs> and if you want to go cool. catch a gig, we yeah, can all ride sure. over there and, and see one. So if you can keep on living for sanctuary opens, we invite him over to sanctuary. Yeah, I'd love to get him there. There you go. Stay alive. So everyone asked me if you look on this label and how he's holding that. I don't think that's a cigarette on that label. I think that, <laughs> I think I think that's something else he's holding on that. You think it might be some of the good yeah, stuff? I think that's probably some of the good stuff. I noticed it too when I was uh, I was I looked at it and I was like ah, I was like I doubt eighty three. Is like he's probably yeah. not smoking cigarettes nah. anymore. <laughs> So we the question will, is, might just rip off the filter. I want to know. I want to know how many of those he went through during yeah, that yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because <laughs> it, look, it looks like he's sleeping on that. <laughs> <laughs> he's still smiling though. He's asleep and he's smiling. That that is a that is a stoner look right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. sleeping those but he's smiling. Are, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pick, <laughs> he's picking. A, he's smiling, but his eyes are closed. Yeah, picking in his dreams. That's mm. awesome. <laughs> We actually talked about it earlier today with the, when they had the mayor on. Did you see about Snoop Dogg quitting smoking? Yeah, yeah. Did you see the new thing that came out? Does it? It's for a. It was for a commercial. Or yeah, something, it was, yeah, it was for a commercial. He just played everybody. It, oh god. Yeah. He just said, "I quit smoke." You know, give. I'm sorry. Give my family some time. Like official statement. Like somebody died. Like we were talking about today. Like I hope he doesn't have cancer or something. You know, respect my. I mean, respect my privacy. Yeah, respect my privacy. Yeah. Then he came out kind of laughing like. Smokeless grill. Yeah. No more smoke. <laughs> oh, is it one of those solo stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh he's my he's God. roasting a marshmallow like, <laughs> that, that I, is, got, I got y'all. That is very funny. He's probably actually. roasting more on that marshmallow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll send you the link. It's pretty funny. That is funny. He's like, you know, I quit smoke because my clothes are smelling and I was coughing. Smokeless grill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's brilliant uh, marketing. It is. Like yeah, we said, no. we, we had the mayor on here earlier and we were talking about it. Like, yeah. We wouldn't be talking about it if he just came out with a grill commercial. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. My uh my fiance sent that to me and I was just like I texted her. I was like, there's no way. I was, yeah, like, I was like, I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so now I'm glad to figure that out now. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> this is phenomenal too. It is so good, isn't it? It is. I mean It's crazy. It's I wouldn't say completely different than this seven year, but you can tell there's a difference. Yeah. 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 No, I almost get like 
just a little more vanilla mm -hmm. on there and more richness yeah, it has to like it. A, almost like a smoky kind of taste to it a little bit yeah yeah it's all a little more just, on the back end kind of yeah, like a like some of the, like the cigar finishes they have yeah. on some of them like yeah. has that little whatever it is but it's different i like it though it's really good well at least i'm glad you can still taste after all this <laughs> 122 too that's my wheelhouse right there <laughs> yeah right <laughs> that's your jam that's my jam there you go <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think it's I think it's a hell of a product. Yeah. I mean, like I said, only sixty bottles coming into this day. If this yeah. is if this is available after the first twenty four hours after its release, I will be shocked. Oh yeah, for sure. Price point on this, so uh, that's going to be around one sixty. Okay. I think, I think yeah. you said one sixty four on. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, yeah, one sixty. Yeah, so I mean, but it's still, I mean, a, but I mean, no, that's, it's a, still, yeah. that's a bargain. But, but when you're what looking it is. at that lineup uh, of one sixty bur, you know, mm. bourbons around that one sixty price. I think it lives up to every single one of them, if not exceeds. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that absolutely. expectation. So especially in the label, so damn cool. I mean, yeah, it's it just is. you know, it's got it all going on with it. So selfishly, I hope nobody buys it, so I can go buy. Yeah. It. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get picked this year. They uh, last yeah. year, my wife got third. Really? Oh yeah. wow. Oh yeah. She so what'd you what'd you get last year? I got everything. I mean, what'd you get last year? <laughs> yeah, she. Oh, I gave her. <laughs> I, actually, I gave her like a play sheet, and I had pictures like table one. Yeah. This bottle, this bottle, this bottle. Like yeah. she was sitting there with a laminated play sheet. Oh and my another God. wife behind her is like, What do you have? Like, oh, my husband made this for me. That like, is funny. I was like, I couldn't go in there with her. So yeah. I was like, yeah. I had it laid out like, Hey, you know, get Pappy 23. If it's going, get 20. If it's going, get the 15. Just go down the line. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a picture so she knew what she was going on. So, oh actually, my God, that's funny. I think I ended up getting like $1,500 worth of stuff. I think I had 19 bottles. Yeah. And I sold nine bottles for six grand. Yeah. Well, it's definitely one of those. It's definitely it's one of those days yeah. where, if you if you are that high of a pick oh, yeah, you're or that high, high yeah. of a yeah. number, I mean, you just gotta get the credit card and just yeah. go. With That's what I told her. Yeah. I mean, she, she got the Pappy fifteen. You know, I think it was one hundred twenty nine dollars, maybe. Yeah, make a big payment on that credit card, yeah. and that way you got some room, yeah, for sure. some, some cap space to yeah, go in sure. there with. Absolutely, it's awesome. Kind of kind of butt hurt we didn't win this year. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, where'd you even get plays? Did you have to go to Mobile or somewhere? I didn't get placed anywhere. No, I'm talking like, about last year. Where'd y'all get? Oh, that was actually in Tuscaloosa. Oh my god, yeah, we got super lucky. So you I got apply I, for like four. You can apply for what, three or four places. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. So I had a. I was talking to a guy up in Florence, uh, Alabama. I was up mm -hmm. there working and got to talking to this guy and and uh, he said um, he said yeah I've got I got number seven or whatever it yeah, was yeah. picked um, for the whiskey release. And I said oh, okay. He goes I just got to go all the way to Fairhope. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> this is a long way. And he was like, well, that's where they put me. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. So I didn't realize, though, that you can be yeah. in Huntsville and have yeah. to go all the way to Montgomery yeah. or yeah. vice versa. Yeah, when you go pick for it, you just put on there, like, what? say, what four locations do you want to try to enter? So huh. I put, you know, Hoover, Pelham, Tuscaloosa, Demopolis, yeah. or something like that, you know. Yeah. But it's also, if you get seventh. Like I did, like you can make some bank on it. It'd be worth it. Well, yeah, yeah of course, right. Of but if course. you get, you know, top fifty, hundred, like you may get some good stuff. But yeah, it depends on how yeah. much you want to spend. So how does Mississippi work as far so, as something like that? So as far as uh, distributing and and how it's run, it's yeah. a loose ABC. So okay. I, so a lot of people don't realize there's eighteen ABC states mm -hmm. in the country. You don't realize that, yeah. you know, until yeah. you travel and need to go buy some yeah. liquor somewhere, yeah, and then you're like, out. "Oh, where, why am I at this store?" You know. Yeah. Um, but they're they're more of a loose style, whereas as Alabama's more of a hard style. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as far as control, right? And that's what I mean by loose and hard, like loose yeah. control, hard control. Um, you know, Alabama is very much in line. North Carolina is by far the worst. As really? far as control, it is insane what they do. I mean, they take it to the extreme, which is, I mean, it's incredible to watch because I just don't, <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I can't believe that they do it like that. So in North Carolina, it's county by county. It's not state oh, wow. state run. It's this county has their own ABC board. This county has their own ABC board for every single county. So wow. it is, I mean, our coworker, that, my coworker that lives up in North Carolina, God bless him, his name's Owen. God bless him. I don't know anyone else that could do it. Yeah. I mean, it, he just, he's got to stay running and gunning. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, Alabama, Utah is obviously mm -hmm. the Mormons. They, yeah. they love control over, over alcohol, which I get. Um, and then, you know, Pennsylvania is pretty hard, mm -hmm. um, kind of like Alabama. But, you know, yeah, I mean, there's 18. Yeah. And so, you I know. I love how we're compared with Utah, 
and yeah. the, and the, and the <laughs> in Pennsylvania yeah. with the Amish, the Amish yeah. and the yeah. Mormons, right? Alabama. Yeah. Or, well, the Bible Belt, man. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> just how it is, you know. I'm from Georgia, and a lot of people don't realize Georgia is a franchise state. Um, it's not just an open state. A lot yeah. of people, which you know, granted, it's about as close as open as you can get. Mm-hmm. But you know, you, you go to Florida, for instance. Florida probably has two hundred something dis- liquor distributors oh, wow. throughout the state of yeah, Florida. Yeah. They, they have they stuff. have a distributor that will just do the west side of Orlando. You know, I mean, they've got a ton, a ton of distributors. Well, that's how open states work. You know, I, I worked in Colorado. Colorado is as open as it can get, just like Florida. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think overall there was like 70-something distributors out there. Now, you have like eight big ones, but yeah. then you have some that, like I said, they just run Denver or they just run, you know, Fort Collins or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, but Georgia's a franchise state. So in yeah. Georgia, there's only, I think, seven distributors for the whole state. And, um, and it's, uh, it's basically uh, the big ones got together back in the day coming out of prohibition oh, yeah. and they wrote the liquor laws awesome. to where no one else was getting in their piece mm-hmm. of pie, you know, <laughs> which great form, you know, yeah. but, uh, but yeah, prohibition, we got soapy Jones coming on this week. Oh yeah. With a pink burlesque. They're doing prohibition nice. for all their stuff this month. Oh, or next month. nice, nice, nice. Let her come and talk about it. Nice. Awesome. A little more, Matt. Sure, why not? Go At this it. point, <laughs> we're it's going down like that ninety proof, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> we're talking about it's that. weird how that happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we're talking about that earlier. We're like Mississippi, Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, with a lotto and everything else. We we're talking about with medicinal, recreational marijuana, yeah. like in Alabama, stuck in the middle with nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I think the first will be gambling. Yeah. I think that'll Maybe. change before any of the other ones. You got to go one at a time. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. And so you can't shock the system, right? <laughs> I mean, imagine if it all changed oh, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. You, uh, People yeah. would freak out. Oh, yeah. You know, it would be a national – it would be a state holiday if they did that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, no, I mean, I, I think it's going to slowly start to come. Um, you know, I think probably gambling will start first, mm-hmm. you know, because w- look what Mississippi done. I mean, that's yeah. what Mississippi runs yeah. off of, yeah. yep. those sure. casinos. Um, and so, uh, so, you know, it's just got to go the way it goes. And, yeah. um, but yeah, funny enough, funny story. I was going back home and, um, I really had to get gas and I had to pee so bad. And I was going, I went through Auburn and then I was like, you know what? I'll stop in uh, Columbus when I cross mm-hmm. over. So I pull into the shell station and it is packed. I mean, I'm talking about, you could barely pull the car in. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? So I pull out, I go to the next one packed and I'm like, God dang! It was the night of one of the, like the big yeah, power the balls. Bill, yeah, when the people. Uh, and so it was all <laughs> Alabama people over at these <laughs> gas stations. So I had to keep line. driving. I mean, I was like almost ran out of gas because the power ball was <laughs> yeah. happening, and I'm in Columbus, Georgia. You know, um, but like we uh, talk about, you got all those tax dollars going to different states. They're going to yeah. eat, eat when they get over there, buy some booze, whatever they do. Yeah, you know, I, I, I tell people if you ever go to Phoenix City. You know, Columbus is right there. Yeah. And you wonder why there, there is a couple of independent liquor stores, mm-hmm. you know, over there. But I think maybe two, yeah. you know, at the most. There's one ABC store. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's not a lot of bars and restaurants. And yeah. I think it's because when you can drive two miles and, you it's know, true. you've got the bottle shop, yeah. which is one of the yeah. best liquor mm-hmm. stores probably in the country, honestly. Mm-hmm. And all the nightlife you need and everything, then you just jump yeah. back over to Alabama. I mean, yeah. I think that, you know, it really is playing a part. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I, I walked in that ABC store one day, 5 o'clock on the dot on a Friday. I was heading back um, home, and I all I usually always go that way. Um, and I, I'm no joke, walk in, and the lady behind the counter, like, feet kicked up. I mean, five o'clock on a Friday, and I'm like, <laughs> what I was like, isn't that crazy? I was like, hey, you know, and she's like, oh, hey, what's going on? And I was like, y'all ain't busy, and I was like, y'all don't look like y'all are busy. And she goes, no, we're never busy. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, well, yeah, it does make sense, you know. I mean, a lot of people just go right down the road, yeah. you know. That's and, why I was telling you we go to Mississippi a lot just to look for other tequilas that we don't have in Alabama. Yeah, I can't buy them for the restaurant, of course, but I'll go over there, try a bottle, bring it home, try it myself. Yeah, email Montgomery, call Brian Gilbo, and be like, "Hey, can we get this one?" Yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I don't know if we can get it. I'm like well, Mississippi's got it. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, I get my hard time. I'm like Mississippi's yeah. got yeah. it. Why, you know, why can't we get it? I, dro- I drove an hour and a half and I bought a bottle. Why can't I buy it here? Yeah, yeah. So he's actually he's got me a few here in town. Yeah, so I like, but they have so many over there, like just bourbon, vodka, everything that yeah. we don't have here. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, and there's nothing that gets under people's skin and, and anywhere, any st- other state when you're like, well, Mississippi's doing it better than you <laughs> oh, yeah. are. And then that's just like, <laughs> no, they're not, you know, and they start to get all upset. I'm going I'm to I'm email them in the morning. So, <laughs> I, I will. You know I will. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're trying to actually get the it's called cava de oro I don't, we don't have any here that's okay what, yeah. that's what the distillery i went to in mexico yeah they phenomenal yeah i don't have it here yeah their stuff is so fantastic i'm trying to get it because they, they actually do single barrel picks too okay so, you know yeah. hammered met the yeah. master, master distiller he's like man come down here <laughs> yeah he's like, come down here and do a barrel pick with us <laughs> yeah because we did the with don julio pick yep yep he's like you come down here we'll go through the freaking basement and we'll pick you up barrel. Yeah. I was like, I'm coming. Yeah. If yeah. I have to buy the damn thing myself, I'm coming. Yeah, right. I'm trying to get it where you can buy it through jalapenos. Like, we'd be the only one in the state to get Cava de Oro. So that would be really cool. That would be really cool. That's my goal. Yeah, their stuff is really good. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll say too, you know, um, one thing about the ABC, if you go through, you can find like all their closeout mm-hmm. items. Yeah, and yeah. there is some stuff. Like, I don't know if you've had uh, Cantera Negra yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, tequila. Yeah. Yeah, I got Do one you, of those. You got now. that out there? Yeah. That, Dude, I used to sell that stuff. Oh, really? I know, okay. I know one of the owners very well. Dude, that stuff is awesome, yeah, really? especially that, for the price point. Yeah, nobody knows about I think it. their Blanco is twenty nine ninety nine or I think we have an Añejo downtown. That was the only one I could find through ABC. Okay. okay. I think I saw one not too long ago. I saw some Blanco somewhere. Um, but I'll tell you, I, I did it for Jose. Yeah. Um, the, uh, do you have Bozal Mezcal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The yellow, the yeah, yeah. Ensemble? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I used to sell that too, but that Bozal stuff's fantastic. Oh, yeah, for All sure. their bottles. You know, they make 18 different Mezcals. Yeah, a ton of them. ton of them. And, uh, I sold so much, uh, when I was, uh, with Empire Distributors, we had okay. them. I sold so much. They literally sent me a sample bottle of every single one That's that they awesome. make. I'm talking about ones that we got like three cases, yeah, literally yeah. Whole state. What, 18 bottles for the entire state. And yeah, they yeah. sent me a bottle of it. And I That's was just awesome. like, oh, very my cool. God. I mean, I had that stuff for like two years. And <laughs> finally, that, my granddad got into it. And then I got into it. And I was gone. like, it's gone. And it also shows you how controlled a state is like this, where you got 18 bottles for the whole state. And yeah. the distributor sent you a bottle for the hell of it. Like, yeah. You know yeah. there's more bottles than 18. It's, just, yeah, yeah, it's so yeah. tightly controlled. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I did a tran- – I transferred some for him because uh, there was only, like, I think eight bottles left yeah, yeah. in the entire state. Mm-hmm. And it was on clo- – talking about the Bozal. Yeah, and it was on, on closeout. And it was on closeout. So, I mean, you're talking like twenty nine ninety nine yeah, for that deal, bottle. Yeah, for sure. And I sent him a picture, and I was like, hey, I was like, they got a case of it. And he was like, absolutely, I yeah, want that give, entire case. Give me the case. whole case. Yeah, I've been there. get the case discount on top of yeah. the, the closeout price. I mean, that is spectacular. I, I wish I had it here for you to try. I've heard of a Nulu before. Uh, they, yeah. They do bourbon whiskey. Yeah. yeah. I actually just bought a case from Ashley from Advines. It's okay, a yeah. blue agave spirit that they aged in Kentucky barrels, toasted Kentucky bourbon barrels. Okay. It was phenomenal. It's phenomenal. But I had to buy yeah. a whole case of it because well, you, know, you can't buy one bottle through yeah. ABC. So yeah. I had to buy a whole case, but yeah. it was phenomenal. How awesome is she? She's, she's cool. She is great. She that is really a cool. really good hire, hire for Mad Vines. Oh, yeah. 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 That's she, what she just did like a random call to me one day. I don't know how she even got my number. She's like, hey, I'm working. You're looking at it right here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, <laughs> there, she, there you uh, go. Well, yeah. She texted We're good friends. We're good friends. Okay. And she texted me and said, um, Hey, do you uh, know the guys at Jalapenos awesome. there you go. in uh, in Tuscaloosa? And I was like, as a matter of fact, yes, I do. <laughs> awesome. And, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, cool. no, I'm glad she got hooked up with oh, you because yeah. her portfolio is fantastic, it's gigantic. Like she sent yeah. us the we, we hadn't posted it yet, but we did a rattle and shake bourbon. Okay, we did some reviews on that. Nice. She's brought me like, hey, try this bottle, try it out, bring it back to me. You know, don't drink the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like when you get those, we'll do some more. Yeah. So she's been she's been really cool. Well, so. I almost forgot, guys. Oh, let's do man, this. we got more? Let's do this last thing <laughs> right here. With the hoodoo. You got to taste a small taste yes. of the hoodoo. It's phenomenal. And we had to go last. We had to do it last because it yeah, you- literally just coats oh, your yeah, taste like buds. like a dessert. I mean, I need to knock this out. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say you got to knock it out, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Listen to this. If this doesn't sound like me, it says, Hoodoo pays homage to black magic mysticism brought to southern United States through African and Caribbean influences. That's you, brother. I mean, it's just like you said. It's- I see lots of awards on it, too. Yeah, no. I mean, look, I, I think it's been in Garden Gun and Southern Living multiple yeah. times. Mississippi chicory. Um, but, I mean, I, I think once you taste it. I mean, I so I do tell people I, I think the gin – Maybe our like pound for pound best product we have and yeah. most awarded, 
this is by far my favorite. Really? Yeah, this fantastic. is I handled, That was the first one you showed me. I can't, well, because I knew you could do something yeah, with it. For sure. I, absolutely. Because, you know, Mexican restaurant, I was like, okay, look, I, I'm going to be a realist here. You know, I know you're not in the market for, you know, this, this, and this. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, I knew the honeysuckle would make an amazing spin on a margarita. And I knew you could come up with something yeah. with this. I need to come up with a new one for it. And the, and the story is, I'm telling you, Mezcal, try it just. Yeah. And, and I think I've got some recipes that have mezcal and hoodoo mm -hmm. in it so i can share that with yeah, you for sure um but uh but it's just something different it's you know obviously completely different. obviously espresso martinis are the main thing that people love to do with it um but so yeah. i'm telling you right now a chicory old-fashioned everyone is missing out on it just a quarter ounce of it in your old-fashioned would be fantastic that's what basically the crossroads that we did was chicory old-fashioned but with tequila and mezcal. right yeah kind of mixing we did the spice cherry bitters that's the one yep. you tried yep. that was yeah, no, it was. I, it was amazing. I mean, it was. I love that. And that little video you did for it too was hilarious. I mean, it was awesome. I was actually funny story. I was sitting with the owners when you sent it to. Oh me. yeah, yeah. And so I literally I got it and I was like, look at this. I was like, man, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> I was like, but look at this cool ass video he just sent me right here. I was like, that's awesome. Thank you. That's really good. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is. Put it over some ice cream. Yeah, boozy. Obviously, I mean Alabama. I mean, we should be known for bushwhackers because yeah. everyone has every bar. If you got a frozen machine, you probably have a bushwhacker yeah. in yeah. one of them. Um, but this, I tell people, even if you don't make your bushwhacker with it, use it as a floater. Use it as a topper. I mean, it is you know instead of yeah. just the traditional one fifty one or whatever yeah. you use, you know whatever people use. I think it's amazing. That's with a it. good call. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've I had some success on the lake, like a bunch of lake bars. Yeah. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's a huge bushwhackers are yeah. huge on the Lake Martin, uh, Smith Lake. You know, so I like it just by itself. I do it's too. Good. It's hard to well, beat. and it's definitely one that can be on those aperitif lists or mm -hmm. you know, um, just that liqueur list yeah. in a in a nicer restaurant mm -hmm. um, that that uh, that you can have. I keep like I said, I keep a bottle in my freezer at all times. Uh, because we'll, I mean, we'll sit here and take shots of it before yeah. we go out. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, I need a bigger freezer because you gotta, I mean, you gotta look, I mean, it's almost 70 proof. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, I hasten to even call it a liqueur, you know, I, I mean, agree. I always say who to liquor because yeah, yeah. it's, <laughs> it packs a little punch, yeah. but that's also cool for the old fashioned, you know, it beefs yeah. it up. It gives it a different spin on it, mm, um, sure. which is really cool. If you are in uh, Birmingham next time, the house of found objects, um, okay. You know, Faisal's Bar over there. Have you been there yet? I haven't been there. No, it's it's a great place. Um, but their signature cocktail is the Sex Panther. And it's almost a spin on an old-fashioned yeah, Manhattan yeah. style. Awesome. It's bourbon-based with hoodoo in it as well. Damn, sounds good. Um, it is. Yeah, no, I mean, I, <laughs> I have way too many every time I go in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, they give you a tattoo of a Sex Panther you um, when you... Awesome. Uh, when you when every time you order one and I'll I'll leave there looking all tatted up I look like a damn I look <laughs> like, like a, a field trip man <laughs> yeah yeah like, oh. I've always loved it ever since the first taste I had of that one when you brought it in downtown that one day yeah oh man and it was just like a random day like I just happened to be there doing some ordering and he showed up and like hey are you the one of the owners <laughs> I got this bag of shit for yeah. you like, <laughs> I was like sit down and of course you know you're like okay hey nice to meet you whatever yeah. like listen, I gotta I got I gotta go back do stuff, you know. Yeah, you got work to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he right. starts bringing all this stuff. I'm like, whoa, hold up, <laughs> hold up now. Yeah, right. Dude, you can mix that with so much. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's. Oh, uh, I mean it. It is so cocktail centric. Yeah, it's, absolutely uh, centric. I mean, it is just that's awesome. Beautiful. And yeah, I mean, and, and it's just you know, it, it's a diff like I said, it's a different spin than just a yeah. normal coffee liqueur. You know, and it's a little bit more pricier. But when you look at the alcohol content and it, and how yeah. mm -hmm. perfect it's made, yeah. Um, it really outweighs the the, the price point and uh, and is amazing. So and especially when you only need a quarter ounce. Yeah. You know, I mean, I I, I have seen drinks use a half ounce to three quarters, um, but it doesn't take much because it has so much flavor in it. So like yeah. I said, it's good just on ice. It is. Or name, not job. even on ice, just straight up. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, put some in the freezer. Yeah. Gotta get a bigger freezer at my house. Put some vodka and hoodoo and all that. I got six freezers next door. We're about to bring a bigger one over here. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Just for we're, liquor. Now we're talking. Yeah. I'll get a pallet lined up for you. You can get it <laughs> loaded up in here. Oh, it's, man. it's very cool, the dynamic lineup that Cathead is yeah. pushing out. Yeah, um, no, I mean, it's... I mean, it, it's completely varied, but every one of them stand out amongst themselves. The vodka, the gin, the bourbon, the, you know, the hickory liqueur. And it's local. It's in Mississippi. Yeah. I mean, this is... yeah. 
It's amazing. Right down the road. I mean, that's yeah. why I tell people. I'm like, we're right down the road. I mean, yeah. as far as distilleries, I mean, I know you got a couple in Birmingham mm-hmm. doing their thing, but like, as far as a, a, a full nationwide, yeah, yeah. you know, you can find us in over 30 states across that's America. Cool. You, We're right down the road in Jackson. It's impressive. And so, you know, I tell everyone, I mean, if you have a chance to run by there, even if we're not doing tours that day or whatever, yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, the gift shop's always open. If if Major, the VP, is in there, he'd love to talk to you and tell you more about And the, the gift company. shop, you can get all of this? Yeah, no. I mean, we have everything. Because I was actually going – this is where I was going earlier. Yeah. Um, I almost – I'm almost positive I was there a couple of weeks ago. I think we had some 13-year – that's we why I was fixing to bring that up because I actually, I actually got a bottle of thirteen. Oh, did you, and, Mira? I let you. I let oh, you try that's that right. That's right. That's right. Yes, because he, he he works for them. Never tried the thirteen. Yeah, I, so I, I never even tried. Down. Yeah, because you can't find it. Yeah. I mean, it it's is, phenomenal. Well, you if you know. got bottles at the gift shop, me and Matt will go tomorrow. I'm almost. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm. I'm almost positive they still have some there. Awesome. Yeah, that was yeah, really um, good. We need to make a phone call. Yeah. Yeah, right. You clear some room out in the car before you head yeah, out. I was, I remember, remember I was like, hey, you're like, I've never even had it before. I'm like, all right, give me a week. That's right. You give me that little mini bottle of it. Yeah. That's what it yeah. was. I was yeah. like, give me a week. I'm going to find a bottle on my bourbon groups. Yeah. And I found a bottle of it. And it's phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. And there's a 15 year, too, isn't there? There is. I there haven't is. been able to find that one yet. I, that don't one, that don't ask me for it. Because <laughs> that I one's elusive. I already asked you for it. I already asked you. I remember I already asked you. That yeah. was elusive. Yeah, no. I um, I I haven't had that one either. I'm going to look for that yeah. one. That's yeah. what a buddy of mine's like, I think I actually found the 15 he's like no it's not it's just like the you know cast strength i'm like oh yeah yeah okay send me that one too but well in the 13 (laughs) and 15 the labels are are very similar and so Mm -hmm. it's one of those where you almost you think it's it and you're like oh no it's not it's 13 (laughs) i'll I'll bring you a sample of it's phenomenal yeah no i would like that it is good stuff it is i think that was 100 proof right on the dot i can't remember it was that's what i know it was phenomenal though yeah Really good stuff, and I mean, like I said, we just that was a uh, that was actually a COVID experiment. Okay. Awesome. Um, we were able to get some juice from cool. uh, some extra juice and and uh, put that out. Um, but you know, obviously, you can see we're working working our way back up that way, yeah, yeah. and um, and phenomenal trying cool. to trying to do most of our own own stuff. I mean, yeah. and and I think that's what most distilleries shoot for, right? Yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, you want to be doing your own line. Yeah, you yeah, want yeah. to be doing your own juice. Your own juice and everything yeah. else. And, um, and my first, uh, it was funny, actually, my first day on the job when I was in Jackson for a week and we were going through all the um, paperwork and all that stuff, uh, they were like, well, we just bought a brand new Rick house. You want to see it? And I was like, yeah, of course. I was like, of course. <laughs> and so we, um, we, it's right around the corner from the distillery. Okay, and so cool. it was cool. We went over there and, um, it was in May, so mm-hmm. hot. Yeah, yeah. And we walk in, and it was just a huge empty warehouse. And I was like, I was like, all right, sweet, yeah, this is awesome. You know, yeah. the the amount of barrels that we're gonna be able to fit in here is mm-hmm. insane. And then it was probably like six months later. Um, I went back, and they were like, oh, well, that's at the brick house. You gonna have to go over there and get it. And I walked in, and literally it was like that. I mean, Are just you serious, full. <laughs> awesome. And I was like, and yeah, but I knew it. The smell. I was like, oh. Yeah. I was like cool. something. I was like something's in here before I even opened the door. I was awesome. like something's in here. So, um, so it's yeah. I mean, it's really cool. And what's the evaporation like? Oh God, in Mississippi. I mean, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah. It's got to age so much quicker. Yeah, I would think. we we had a. Um, I know we had a store pick. I want to say it went to North Carolina. Um, that you know, mo- most store picks, right? They come out the case wise. You're going to get around 29 to, to 30, 30 cases somewhere around there. You know, yeah. 31 cases somewhere around there. Um, this one, I want to say it was only like 18. Yeah. And, wow. and they were like, they thought like some of it didn't make it. Like they were like, <laughs> what is going on? Oh, yeah. And yeah, it was like, I mean, almost half of what it normally is. Wow. And, uh, so yeah, I mean, and we're, we're still, I think young, you know, young enough to where we're, we haven't seen massive jumps in levels like that. Right. But I think over the, over the next few mm-hmm. years, we're going to start seeing, you yeah. know, a lot of that. Yeah. And, um, and maybe you know eventually start being able to pick out okay if it was here in the rick house then it's going to taste oh, yeah. like this and mm-hmm. you know so on and so forth so for sure um yeah it's, it's just going to be interesting to see you know what we keep doing and moving down the line oh and, absolutely and, I, lo- uh, I love all the progression and you know jumping up from the seventh to the nine year now yeah next yeah. you'll be having like your own koi hill like jack daniels does yeah right <laughs> super strong yeah Oh, super yeah. allocated. I'm glad to see yeah. this in the South. I mean, Tennessee and Kentucky's yeah, yeah. technically South, but 
in the South. Well, you know, this I, is the true South. I think, yeah, right. Well, you know, it's funny. I tell people, <laughs> Kentucky people hate me because I every time <laughs> that's not the South. Every time <laughs> I meet someone from Kentucky, and my grandma lived up there for years. Well, I grew up going up to Kentucky back and forth, but uh, every time I meet someone, they all they love to say that they're from the South. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll I'll look at them and I'm like, hey, did it snow last year? Yeah. And they're like, well, yeah, of course it snows. I was like, you're not from the south. <laughs> and they the south. just, I mean, literally want to fight you on the spot. And yeah. I'm like, hey, look, I'm I'm, I'm just being a realist right <laughs> now. Bro. I mean, if it if it snows, you gotta you gotta check yourself. Yeah. You know. <laughs> now now with the so. expansion of the SEC. Everybody's in the South. Like, yeah, Oklahoma's right. Oklahoma's joined Texas. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's not the South. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I know that's that's insane. What At least we don't have days. California teams and all. It's, that. Eventually, it'll be there. It'll be like <laughs> yeah, the whole no. South South U.S. Money, money talks. Money it talks. Does. It yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, but yeah, no. I I just I think we've started something. You know, and I don't want to say that we started, but I think we did. You know, I think absolutely we're true pioneers of of you know a great distillery. That's not in Kentucky or mm-hmm. Tennessee. Yeah, for sure. You yeah. know, trying to make their a uh, name for themselves and really do it right and do yeah. awesome product, you know, products like this. Um, and you're and you're finally starting to see them pop up. Georgia's got a couple of good ones. Mm-hmm. Um, I know Conecca. I know Clyde Mays. I, mean, yeah, I know yeah. Conecca Ridge is finally opening in May of 2024. I think so. Yeah, I think uh, so. Down in Troy. So you know we're starting to get there. Um, and uh, I think it's taking too long, but I I think Absolutely. I think finally it's it's coming coming along so yeah well like so. i said every every product line like I'm say the quality say, across yeah. this whole line is yeah because i know some places you have, like you're like oh you know i know you're a bourbon that's company good. but that's, that's not good. that good you yeah. know like yeah <laughs> quality know. Yeah. across the board yeah no matter what you drink yeah. i think we've got you covered i think so <laughs> and i would call myself a professional drinker you are. i mean i don't get paid i'm an amateur drinker yeah but still <laughs> amateur professional <laughs> <laughs> i know some amateur golfers that shoot low 70s exactly. now come on now <laughs> yeah for sure it's good stuff yeah it yeah is. you're you're professional <laughs> only thing i guess the only thing you're lacking now is some rum and some tequila yeah, you know, they um it was funny when when I started they asked me they I told them I was like yeah, yeah I spent a lot of time in Mexico mm-hmm. and they asked me about the um possibly moving into agave and yeah, yeah. and starting to break in that market and I I was very honest with them. I said mm-hmm. I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot. Yeah, there's pole. so many of them. I sure. said they they are professionals down there. Oh, they yeah. dominate. At tequila, yeah. they know what they're doing. And you know, and and it's like that in a lot of things though. Like you know, look, they do it correct. Just let them keep doing it. Yeah, and yeah. you know, by all means, I, there's some good stuff out there. I've tried some good mm-hmm. agave spirits that people have done here in America. Yeah, and I think they're fantastic. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of them are good. But as far as you know, major marketability. Yeah, what could if differentiate does, or whatever? If it does not say made in Mexico on it. Oh, the majority of the consumers are not oh, yeah. going to pick it up, For and sure, it just right. is what it is, you know. But yeah. um, but hey, you've been down there now. Yeah. I mean, you see how awesome it is. Oh, I, yeah, I want to let them keep doing their oh, thing. Oh yeah, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> so we'll have to get you down to Oaxaca, down in. Uh, That's so, my next trip. I want to go down there and get some mezcal. Tours. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, we'll go through Pueblo and uh, I'll I'll go with you. I, I spent some time in Pueblo. Um, my one of my companies I did business with. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where their warehouse oh, was. Yeah, so awesome. we we had to go there. And the cool thing about mezcal is they make it all over the country, not yeah, just yeah, Jalisco. Yeah. yeah. And so, more varied. Um, yeah. So, I mean, there was mezcal uh, farmers all around Puebla and then awesome. going all the way down to Oaxaca. And um, cool. and uh, it was really cool to see. And especially how it's just growing wild. You know, you'll be going mm-hmm. down the road yeah, and you'll see just, it everywhere. You'll see it everywhere. Yeah. It's really Even cool. with the blue agave, you saw those everywhere, like in the ditches and just yeah. all over the freaking place. Like wherever like there's. Kudzu here. Basically, yeah, it was. Wherever yeah, there's some crazy. land, they would throw them in there. Pretty, pretty much. Really? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah it's wild everywhere. to see. Yeah. First time I ever saw it was by myself, too, going on a bus to, to Cuernavaca, <laughs> Mexico. And I was like, what is that? And then someone told me, they were like, is it just wild agaves growing up? Growing wild, just yeah, all over the place. I'm sure you've heard of the LVI, the Raisija. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna have him on in a few weeks too. Do it, do it. He's yeah, really cool he guy. is. He is a super nice guy, and um, and that product's awesome. It is. We have that downtown. We nice. do a pretty little liar with strawberry with the Raisija. Nice, that's good nice. stuff. Yeah, that that stuff is fantastic. I know yeah. he's a pretty much one man show. Yeah, no, I know, he's I know, all and, over um, the place. Yeah, no, it's it. Look, it takes a lot to do that. I mean, I worked. I worked my ass off when I had my own company I'm trying sure, yeah. to mm-hmm. trying just the marketing you got to put in Man, behind yeah. and the tastings and this and that. It, especially it, with a like a spirit kind of company. Well, and especially what he is doing yeah. too with an unknown 
yeah, unknown you know, spirit. largely yeah. unknown spirit, um, making his making his way through the ranks. It's impressive what he's doing, what he's undertaking. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, I commend him for it. That was one. I think I guess I think that one goes through Mad Vines as well. I and think it I does. think and so. Ashley was telling me about it. I was like, "Yeah, we got it. We're it's over there behind the bar. I got it already." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, "Really?" I'm like, "I already got a cocktail with it. It's on the menu." Yeah, <laughs> very cool. She was impressed with that. That's awesome. Yeah, no, that stuff is fantastic. It is. Yeah, I, I need to bring you some of that one too, Matt. Game on, baby. <laughs> we're, we're progressing into that. Matt, he ain't tried any mescal yet. Oh man, I, I hadn't got him that yeah. far yet. We're progressing into that. Yeah, no. That's what, Ashley's got me a couple samples of some really high in Mescal to try out. There you go. So I'll bring those to you. Nice. Well, call me when you do that. <laughs> I, I mean, I love it. I'm telling you right now, tequila, mez- my fiance, uh, when we first started seeing each other, I, I took over, I think it was a bottle of Bozal actually. Mm-hmm. And I just took it over to her house and she, you know, I had like a beer and then I poured a shot yeah. of Mezcal. And, what the hell is this? And, uh, and literally like I just started sipping it, you know, and I mm-hmm. poured another one, started sipping it. And I look over on like the second or third one and her eyes are just (laughs) huge. And she was like, what? She's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, just having a mezcal. I was like, you want one? And she was like, no. (laughs) And she literally thought I had like superpowers. I was just like, (laughs) I was like, I don't know what, because this was, I had um, like more recently came back. So, I mean, I was still so tequila and mezcal. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. And I could just sit there and drink it. Yeah. And she was just, I mean, I I was so impressive to her. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) but I was like, it's just what being a professional is all about, (laughs) right? I mean, it's it's definitely an acquired taste, like you said. But once you start drinking more and more, like, for sure, it goes away and you're like, I guess in gin is the same way too. I think every spirit's like that. I mean, you know, whatever you're drinking, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of like we said, like, you know, you got to progress. Yeah. yeah. Mezcal is definitely the, you're, you're a top graduate. You're a post-grad. And what's the proof on like a Mezcal? It varies too, but usually what's yeah. in the 80 to 90 range for the most part. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, so I, know, I know Bozal has some that go up, you know, really? past 100. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they've got some strong stuff, but it's more just the flavor profile because it's smoky and it's just super, ve- a lot of them can be like vegetal and just, yeah, you know, a lot of. Of, what depends on where they're, like you were saying, it's all over the, you know, country in Mexico. Country. So it depends where it is. If it's in the coast or if it's up in the mountains. Yeah. It could be more grassy, more smoky. Yeah. Just yeah. completely different. And if you get a, like a pechuga. Yeah. That you know, it's got some chicken flavor to it. I mean, they, they actually t- they actually take really? a chicken breast, put it into the in the uh, the pot still. Yeah, and the vapors go through the breast, cook the breast. <laughs> we got it downtown. He doesn't look we like he te- wants to try it. We got, we got a tequila downtown. The uh, which one is that? Uh, Master Doble. They have a pachuga tequila. Really? Okay, it's I did be- not know beautiful that. Beautiful blue bottle. Man, I'll have to come down there one day and, and yeah. uh, try some different yeah. tequilas. Y'all, y'all you got try, down I'll let you try that one next time. It's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. So we'll, we'll branch out into that after after the new year. Get some muscal <laughs> going before the new year. Okay, tomorrow yeah. December's a long, uh, long. <laughs> no, you got to go to Jackson tomorrow to buy some. <laughs> yeah, to buy we're some going, tomorrow we're going to Jackson <laughs> and then Huntsville and, and then. Huntsville. Yeah. <laughs> they, I think we're going to Bama. Columbus. Bama, you're going, you're going on tour. Yeah, you ever heard of Bama shines Mm-mm. in Bology, some moonshine we tried the other day. Oh yeah, phenomenal in Bology. Really, there's yeah. something there. Yeah, phenomenal. They have white and dark. I mean, I've seen it on the map. I've yeah. seen it on the map, and I have. I was like, yeah, I don't need. I don't it's called Bama there. Shines. Huh? So I'll look really, it up. Really, really. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you. He actually, he sent me a TikTok this morning. And said, "Where are you out of?" I'm like Tuscaloosa, you want to come on the show? Yeah, he's a retired vet. Oh my god, that's one man awesome. show. It's yeah. real, for moonshine. They age in oak barrels. Okay, really good. Hmm. We got messed up on it the other day on a podcast. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we started mixing it with beer and different stuff. Oh, my God. It was good, though. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> it was good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that up. That's I'll, funny. I'll I too. swear I didn't even think people lived there. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our road trips we're going to make for sure. There you go. Well, yeah, just set your tour, day, uh, yeah. tour dates up and, and <laughs> knock them down. Tour. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, every one of these things you've brought us is just phenomenal. Yes. Well, hey, I mean, thank you for inviting me on. Oh, Seriously, absolutely. I, I know we've been trying to get it done, and you know, we had got sickness, and then you know, now the yeah. holidays are coming up. So I'm glad we were able to fit it in. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. But uh, tr- and, and even though I, I know you knew some of the line, I was I was just glad to show it off and oh yeah, for let sure. Out here, taste down the yeah. line, and absolutely. Like, I've never had the gin, the raspberry, the. Uh, Barrel I'll, age, Jane, you got us. I'm going to say yeah. this has been my favorite show. I mean, <laughs> <There you> go, <laughs> <awesome. laughs> just to try everything, and everything was so quality. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> there's not there's not a product here that I would not buy. And like I said, it I helps. Mean, it's as good a for consumer, because he's fixing to open a restaurant. So, yeah. I yeah. can promise you, 
yeah, you'll be well unless, represented. You know, in like I said, when you when you get uh, when you get lined up, I mean, whatever you want to sample or bring and pour some cocktails with, let me know. I mean, I'll come over and we'll hang out for the afternoon and get some get a couple cocktails on there. I like you it. You know, like like I said, I mean, we've got something for everything. You, you do, you know? sure. no, no matter what, really do. Vodka cocktail, gin cocktail, we got it all. So and it's all fantastic. Yeah, yeah. What we're trying to do is, I will plug. We are uh, looking at doing a cocktail challenge. Um, coming up in February. Oh yeah, Ashley. Yeah, I'm talking with the guys at Session about hosting nice. it there and what's, uh, what's that Intel doing it there. What now? What's that going to Intel? Like a uh, we're just going to do just like a cocktail challenge. Do like maybe one vodka cocktail, one gin, one bourbon, and uh, you know we, just we need to go ahead and be there. So just, plan on us being there. Yeah, we'll be video, I mean, I mean, audio. I don't have judges yet. I might just make you judges. Saying, yeah. I'll talk yeah. to Connor or Kadeem. Tell us. Yeah, yeah. You know, we need to be the judges. Yeah, no, we're trying to get a I will, date I will now. take my, my name out of the competition for jalapenos and just be a judge. There you go. Yeah. And we're experts. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to have one of the guys come from the distillery, too, to awesome. be a judge cool. and um, really just get involved. But, you know, yeah, they do cocktail challenges throughout the state, yeah, yeah. but they yeah. don't come to Tuscaloosa yeah, yeah, or never, Auburn. Yeah. So I think we're, we're trying to get them hooked up. Okay, we'll awesome. do one for Tuscaloosa and one for Auburn and cool. Good call. Um, do that. Because, I mean, it's, you know, the, the – There's a lot of – The cocktail game here in Tuscaloosa has really taken has, off, yeah, even since I've gotten here, yeah, yeah. you sure. know, in the last in the past, 18 months. Yeah, I'm saying the past year it definitely has. Yeah, yeah. and so uh, I think it's needed. I think it would be fun. Mm-hmm. I think people will come, you oh, know. Yeah. Um, and it's cool because bartenders get to play around with all these. Yeah, and sure. I think bartenders want that. They want to show you what they can do. Yeah, and well, with our lineup too, you have such a, such a, a variety. R- array of you know you can obviously do one of the flavors for a vodka cocktail. Yeah, yeah. The gin is fantastic. The bourbon you can play with this. The hoodoo. I mean, you know, yeah. you've got such a variety to play with yeah, that. For sure. Um, that I think they'll love it. Absolutely. So. I think we definitely need to be the, the keep judges. Us, keep us in, okay, in the loop We're, we're looking at uh, February. I'm actually going to be in Mardi Gras this year in New Orleans uh, on a float. Uh, don't ask me how I got <laughs> Don't ask me how I got a last spot. Time I was call. In, last time I was so. in Mardi Gras, I ended up with a bunch of gummies I shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah. You, did. <laughs> you were texting me the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it was a good it's, trip. It's, uh, it's going to be fun, I know. But um, but we're looking at doing it like that week after. Okay, um, awesome. you know, I've got to play with the basketball schedule. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Make sure I'm not doing it on a basketball right. night. And, you know, yeah, we'll definitely be interested in that. I know going we've been on. talking about Hunter and Kadeem about coming on the show or doing like oh, yeah. a location thing. So I know they'd be all for well, it. Well, I'll, I'll, um, I'll tell them to I'll tell them to definitely do Absolutely, it. Because yeah. uh, I love those guys. They, they do a great oh, job. Yeah, they do. Um, they're, if you go down, down to Auburn, their spot in Auburn is mm-hmm. basically Absolutely. very similar to this, yeah. and it, they're crushing it down there too. Yeah. Um, but Kadeem is so, I mean, he knows what he's doing. He yeah, and does. Uh, he and, actually sent me a text right before you got here because oh, we, yeah. we were talking about that uh, old Forester we did a review on. He's like, Come try our old Forester. I'm like, Okay, we will. Oh, no, they do a pick. Yeah, they did that, a pick. I think nice. last year they did a pick of the single barrel. Nice. Okay. Nice. Yeah, no, they, they, they just know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. fantastic. They do. So, yeah. Absolutely. So, so, we're hoping to get that done. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep you all in the loop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm looking for judges. That's I'm us. looking for judges. So. We're, we're, I don't know when it is. <laughs> we like to drink. I don't know when it is, but we're available. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you having us Sweet. on. Coming on the show with us. Yeah. We had a good time. Definitely. Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. Anytime. Anything so. else you need to add, Matt? I give the whole lineup a two yeah. thumbs up. It's yeah. I just amazing. want to say if you need vodka, gin, bourbon, anything, Cathead Vodka, I mean, yeah. y'all are killing it. Yeah. Y'all really it's fantastic are. fantastic stuff. Thank it's you so great, much. It's a great, complete the game. line. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if you if you see this one, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no need to even touch this one. Yeah, it's, not, it's not any good. <laughs> yeah, mean, right. Just call me. Let me know where it is. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, come, I'll come get it off the shelf for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I probably will too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Case. Thanks for Absolutely, being on the show. Absolutely, guys. Enjoy. Thank you. A couple of yeah. more boozy spirits. <laughs>